Hey everyone, welcome to podcast number 41. 41, 41. Uh, before we get into some news, first comment I want to read is from Tanoosh. Chris Tanoosh. is super progressive. He refuses the stereotype that all Canadians are nice. I guess that's fair. I did see that one. And I did like it. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite is uh, from a boy, Kevin. He's like, the real reason Rob's oh, nose started bleeding after the test was because he blew out all the mucus when his ma- with his mask after Kirk and all his cousins got spanked the first day back. <laughs> well, we'll I continue with that, that trend. Uh, mine's from Trey. <laughs> Tell Rob that Kirk and all his cousins just <laughs> lost to the Titans. What do you and mean then, the Titans and then are still Rob, a good team? Rob wanted me to pick out a comment for him because he didn't bring his phone. So uh, yeah. this is from Brad. Rob looks like an overly muscular traffic cone. <laughs> traffic cone? <laughs> should I be like insulted by that one? Or I should don't I know. There was it? a lot of Rob roasts in there. <laughs> mm. All your football fans came through. Every single time the, the Vikings are about to play, it's like, too much the Vikings are going to lose by this week, man. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. Well, did anyone guess one? Mm, probably not, actually. <laughs> well, um, my glasses are fogging up, but um, it was definitely a rough week. Mm-hmm. I was pretty emotionally heartbroken on Sunday. Why do you have it. a reverse Hitler? What do you mean, like this? Yeah. <laughs> it's just how it comes in. <laughs> Has it always been like that? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I guess I haven't seen with the mask, but yeah. <sighs> no mask this week because no mask. negative COVID. It's um, our last podcast. Last podcast until the cases going, go down. We're going out with a bang. <laughs> yeah, literally. So, Mom, I can explain myself if you're watching this one, but you haven't watched the last like 10 or so. <laughs> I think I think we're risking a test. Please, waters. you need support. <laughs> but um, yeah, this should be our last podcast for a few weeks. Cases yeah. have gone up, up, and up. Yeah, I love sorry. I love how us like responsible people are like, oh yeah, like we should probably take a break because you know Ontario has seven hundred cases in, for one day, and then in the states they're like, it's only thirty five thousand cases. We don't yeah. need to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's less than a thousand per state drew true did you guys see that like car me that was on the news in that oh, town near yeah, us yeah, yeah. there, there was, was like car meet? a 500 yeah. person car meet in uh wasaga. wasaga wasaga yeah and they had like police choppers and shit the police literally just like blocked off every entrance to the main strip and then just it was like cars i was Dude. like man you guys are like idiots though you know what i mean no one's wearing masks everyone's literally like toe to toe like did you see any of like the the footage of like the interviews and stuff and the one guy was like, yeah, yeah. we're going to do it again next year. I was going to say, I was yeah. gonna say, if you saw any of the interviews of people on the street, it all makes sense. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> imagine, <laughs> kind, imagine the kind of people who go to like, the kind of people who go to like a car meet and was in Wasaga. <laughs> that's that's yeah. the type of people Fair. that it is. Wait, so yeah. they all lost their cars and they no, just No, no, no. A care. couple did. Like, well, most of them just drove away. The well, biggest, like, the biggest uh, tickets. Tickets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think ticket. They gave it like a hundred and some tickets. And anyone like illegally parked because there was a ton. They just started yeah. like driving in tow trucks, pulling cars out. Like when uh, we were in San Diego yeah. where we were like we on like. the main strip and um, as it hits a certain point, you can't park on the streets anymore. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking like two police cars block off the street. And like a lineup of tow trucks, one tow truck, one car. <laughs> and they were there one like car, a minute or two before the time, like getting ready. As yeah. soon and as, as it hit. soon as the clock went, they just cleared the <laughs> whole street. But it was, it. it was sick. The like, operation yeah. was sick. I think when we yeah, sat like, down or when we were sitting there, like we had just put in our food order. Mm-hmm. And before we even finished our food, all the cars were gone. Yeah. It's like less than half an hour That's to clear out an entire street. Some SWAT team shit. That's it was, it was so well organized though. But like a lineup of tow trucks. One comes in, gone. One comes in, gone. And we were like telling the waitress, we're like, oh, like, What's happening? She's like, oh, this happens every night. Yeah, just, I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. How does that some, happen? Like, they must make a killing. There's probably yeah. some dude sitting like, with like a, an 80 car garage, all these free cars. He just impounds from people and then they come back. <laughs> How do, they, how do they keep doing that? Like, if it happens every night, don't you think they'd be like, oh, like I a, know this happens. You catch I probably, on, yeah. you know. It's probably tourists and also people who just lose track of time. And I conventions. guess. We're like on the main strip, yeah. I just find it, I get, find it ironic how everyone's like, oh, second wave, second wave, it's going to happen. And everyone's like, Oh, like it's 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 gonna it's far off in the future. If we're safe now, all of a sudden you check the news. What's today? Like eight hundred total cases in Ontario or something like 700. that. Seven hundred. So I think I'd say this is our second wave here, at least. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. it's more than the first time, isn't it? Yeah. Is that irony? That's not well, really. I don't know about irony, <laughs> but like I don't think anyone's arguing to... that this is not second wave. Uh, well, yeah, there's not... probably gonna be a third wave. Like <laughs> it's funny because yeah. as soon as Drew got here, he was talking about what he heard on the news. I, where I they came were, in like, triggered. Where Doug Ford was just like, "Oh, it's like he officially said this is our second wave," and Drew's just like, "Who the fuck is arguing against it? Like, obviously yeah, it's the clearly. second like, wave." How do we need someone to officially tell us that? Like, yeah. it's <laughs> we're a, we're a day away from like matching our like total numbers. So. Yeah. 
And like the whole one thing I don't get to is the whole like, when they report COVID deaths. It's like they were like, apparently they're counting like if you have COVID and get hit by a car, you died of COVID. You know what I mean? And they're counting yeah. that or telling that. That's in the, the states. But they no, they were doing that. They said there's been a million deaths of COVID in Canada so far. That's what they were saying on the news today. Definitely not. Because no, the official watching. stats does no, not track C- that. got CTV yeah. or something. It might have been America. They're, they're tracking that. deaths, but for example, where we are, there hasn't been a death it's Because I, we were watching the news just now. It's not no, they're all, they're all long-term care homes. But it's just yeah. like, why bother? The total deaths in Canada are 9,000. <laughs> well, what, what? Look at CTV. <laughs> One million. And they put out an article or a report today. I was literally watching the news the just states. now. Didn't the states hit? No, the yeah. states hit 200,000. I heard the number yeah, of a million no way. and COVID-related deaths. Maybe, maybe a million the in the world. Uh, the it, world, it maybe. maybe. But I'll, either I'll way, check. I just like. I think there's been more. I just think they the should world. they should differentiate between like COVID-related so. and like directly. Well, you can't really tell for sure. Yeah. Well, it, they could still um, at least. <laughs> so well, COVID, COVID by okay. car, yeah, death total in the pneumonia. world is nine hundred ninety-nine thousand. So, but okay. COVID also can like trigger other things in someone, right? Yeah. So, like if. If it's like the primary cause here, that's what it. Well, like, but like, in the states, that's so, yeah. in the states they were doing it. Like again, as you said, if if someone got hit by a car, but had COVID, they'd count as a COVID case because they get more money from the government. That's why they're doing. Do they the get states. more money as like subsidized if you have COVID? It was in the states. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. know how it works here. I don't. I assume not, but, but people, probably it does. People were pissed off because there'd be there'd be like, oh, you died of pneumonia. But like COVID probably gave you that pneumonia, mm-hmm. or and made then it significantly like, worse. They're like, it's not COVID, it's pneumonia. It's like the <laughs> COVID gave him pneumonia, pneumonia, pneumonia. That's what I used to call as a kid. Pneumonia. I used to think pneumonia was like a different word because it started with the P. And I was like, how do you spell pneumonia? I forgot what it was. It was like first time at school. I right. love the pterodactyl. Yeah, and it was probably like, like it starts, it's, it's P and U. I'm like, wait. P starts <laughs> is the first word of pneumonia I don't get it. or letter. Pardon. Rob but just thinks it starts with like four ends, like pneumonia. It's a, it's a <laughs> knife or yeah, pterodactyl. You know, pterodactyl. some asshole aside to make letters silent. Like what? Ser- what purpose does that serve? Xylophone. That was a bad example. No, it's xylophone. I know, but it starts with X. Or like Xavier, but like the X makes a Z sound. If it's X Y. No. Yes. T Rex. There's no Y. <laughs> what? T Rex. <laughs> it's also why in like the Chinese like language, if you have X H, it's Ch. They do that in uh, Hispanic countries as well. And Scandinavian. There's a dog that's like its name is like no X I X I or something. It's like Chi Chi or something. <laughs> Chicha. <laughs> Love it. I I find it. Like it. No, wouldn't it be Zai Zai? Was X I X I? Maybe. Zai. Well, like it's either or no. Okay, so it's X O L O and it's Cholo. Wait, whose dog is that? It's a breed of dog. Oh. So like in Spanish, it's it's C H. Some places it's Z. Mexican dog. I couldn't remember what it's called. <laughs> you, you try to pronounce that. Zolo. There's, there's like the C word in there. I'm not saying it. That's a. Tr- you're trying to bait me. Let's see. I think it's pronounced Cholo Itza Quintle. All right, I give Fuck up. That. That. Oh. After hearing that, shit, I don't even want to try. No, I can, I can, I'll be able to get one. Nice. Sort of. But you're allergic to dogs, like to a minimal extent. I was fine with Bruno at school because he's like a half allergic. What do you call the hypoallergenic. word? Hypoallergenic and then half. He so was, you're, so you're allergic to yeah. dogs. No, but like I was fine around him, but like dogs, like that <laughs> shed a lot. Dogs that are full allergenic. What do you mean? Okay. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm okay with some dogs, and I'm okay with not. Is that yeah. going to melt your guy's brain? But I'm not okay. I'm allergic to dogs, but obviously with hypoallergenic dogs, which means that you're not allergic to them. I'm not allergic to them, yeah, but, but I'm still like, allergic to he dogs. He was like a mix. He was a mix. Yeah, but of he's allergenic mix. and hypoallergenic. With, yeah, so he's he a was, mix with a dominant, probably hair trait of a hypoallergenic dog. Dude, the X gene was right, stronger get than this the Y DNA gene. bullshit out of here, mm-hmm, Christian. Mm-hmm. Like if it's if it's like a mix with a Shih Tzu, they'll always be hypoallergenic or whatever. Okay, it's now it's just tzu. call me names, bro. Like, do you guys remember? Do. do you guys remember that game for DS with the Nintendo dogs? Yeah, Nintendo dogs. great game. I didn't have it. My cousin did though. Worst game oh. ever. I, I, I love throw it. a ball. At the, it was great. You just tap a dog with your stylus a bunch of times, and then it's like, it? I like you. <laughs> it's like The Sims when they first introduced pets. That wasn't the, that was the only Sims game I ever played. Sims pets was like, when your like when your pet, pet could have a like better job than you. Yeah, man, my two cats carried a family of six. <laughs> <laughs> like it was amazing. The, you only had to work three days a, a week as a TV actor and a TV stuntman, and they made more than the family a of six. Cat stuntman. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Jokes. It was sick. Speaking of cats, I saw your tweet. 
about you and Annie yeah. potentially getting a pet. Is the that a compromise? Thing? Yeah. What is it? So I was like, I want a dog. She wants a cat. So we're probably going to get a cat. Yeah. Oh, but it oh, might jump compromise. off the fourth floor. <laughs> yeah. well, 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 oh no, she's what, still what worried about that. Death, Jesus bro. Well, I, I, that's see, that's what Jesus I said. Christ. Or like I first mentioned it, and then and he walks. She was like just a dead cat splayed on the. She was the ground. pretty concerned, and this then is a chalk outline. she's like, well, "We'll have to do something to like cover it." And I was like, "You know what? If it dies, Wait, it has dies." Annie <laughs> said, has Annie had a pet? She's had a cat before, but like, and her cats do that. What? Like just jump off? I just don't understand the concern. My sister's cat does it all the time. Yeah, your sister's cat. Has your sister's got the way you explain it? She's scared it, and it's just like fuck this it, shit. It, I'm no, out. it's done it without anyone prompting it either. It just yeah. fucking jumps. And was it fine? It. Yes, fine. Though it's a cat. I, I I think honestly, there's something wrong with towards, it. Towards, towards which well, might remember, come from the well, falling. Well, remember free fall. <laughs> <laughs> we literally called him that because he like we found he was a barn cat and he used to just <laughs> climb up for the second and just jump into like all this hay and do it again and like my uncle would just sit there being like. You know what? Yeah, I think I think they need that cat. And he grabbed it and just brought it to us one day. Well, well, it was the best cat ever, but there was clearly something wrong with it too. Mm-hmm. Like, just find one that's normal. I guess it has I nine know. lives. Like, so you think it? The average the cat's lives? not trying to jump off like every no, railing no. in the house. You know what I mean? It's just trying to run around and eat. And so the sleep. cat we're looking at now, because my is the Coleco brought it up. What? No. <laughs> What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? That sounds like a definite no. Colecos are cute, bro. I have no fucking idea what you're talking about. It's like a cat that has like the black ears and shit. It's a bangle cat. Beauty. Whoa, that looks sweet. We're gonna name it. Bangle. Say you bangle. Say that cat showed up at your house tomorrow and he's came on with it. What are you gonna name it? Oh. Sesame. I'm sure I wouldn't get to name it. Uh, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta have three <laughs> name options. Love this. <laughs> and you gotta for a cat. I've always thought you gotta give a cat like a superhuman name just for like fun, just for fun. Jimmy. Hey Rob. Bob. <laughs> Let, like Paul or like Alfred name or something. Name it Rob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Name it, Name it Robbie. Ronald. Ronald. Ronald and then just like let That's it. a good name for a cat, actually. Ronald? Yeah, Ronald. <laughs> I like it. Annie's cat, when she got oh, it, was Paul. called Sadiq. Sadiq? Sadiq? Because they got it from like a Muslim family. <laughs> Imagine it, was all, like, it only answers to that name. It too. was like a 12-year-old <laughs> senile cat that threw up every meal that it ate, and she loved it. And pieces. I'm like, why, why did they do you get it? Jesus. Because the family was moving to Brazil, and they're like, here, have the cat. Fair. I would have just said no. <laughs> I'm going to... Like, can you can I eat it? Is there, is there protein in this? Mm-hmm. But Probably not. Cats are no. Oh man, that's fucked up. That's on some Dahmer. Actually, shit. no. I would never eat. A, I would never eat a cat. I would never even eat horse. To be honest, horse is pretty delicious. Mm-hmm. You've had horse before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think we all had it in spite to spite Hannah. Insane. Oh yeah, right. Fuck. No, I'm kidding. That was, no. Imagine, that was like ten years before I met her. <laughs> Imagine if you guys were right like, went out for dinner with Hannah and you were just like, What do you have any horse on the menu? Like, yeah, we got, was, there's one back. We got one left. <laughs> oh jeez. She'd probably never talk to you guys ever again. <laughs> no, when I told her I ate horse, she's like, Oh, like, cool. She didn't really care the, as much. There was what a does rumor. It taste like? Is it red meat? Well, There's a rumor I, that Christian was a horse eater. No. <laughs> is it gamey? I so I don't know for sure whether it was, but I had mortadella, which it, and I had it in chili. Isn't that cheese? I, no, it's like a deli meat. Oh, okay. Um, but I had mortadella, and then my uncle told me that it was horse. And when I looked it up, apparently in chili, it's pretty common for it to have some horse. Hmm. But they could have been lying. So I what's looked. the most exotic thing you've eaten? Um, I had. Her name was uh, I had Trixie. ox tongue. <laughs> ox tongue, yeah, that sounds gross. Ox tongue. I had shark, Don't alligator. Make... I had alligator. They're all really good. I've only had camel on a cruise. Only had camel. Yeah. That's the most exotic <laughs> shit I can think of. <laughs> Dude, what's the? What are the humps made out of? Just, I don't like, know. Fat? We, we just. I had literally a piece. It was like a camel steak, and it tasted like steak. It just like you put it in your mouth. No matter how you cooked it, you chew it for like five minutes. Yeah, fuck. You do know what the humps? Tough? Yeah, are, real right? tough. They're just mounds of fat, aren't they? No water. It's just empty water tanks. It's literally yeah. like a water tower. It's fucking weird. So Where they store all their water. So if we ever run out of water in the world, just yeah, you just make take it, a straw. <laughs> stick it. <laughs> Imagine you're just like it's like instead of like having like a water tank in your house, just like a camel is hooked up outside. He's hooked well, up to make the a, trough. We should make a, a product. Could we call it like a camelback or something? Yeah, and then yeah. you put it in the backpack and, and you have and a straw have a that straw, comes yeah. to your mouth. Genius. No one's done that before. Wow. I guarantee. That's jokes, but I dig no, it. what I was going to say is when I was in Cuba, there was chicken for dinner the one day or one day. And then like this chicken, you know, ch- chicken's usually like you cut into it's white and it's like stringy. Mm-hmm. This stuff was like a brown ball 
and like you tried to cut into it and it was like gristy the entire way through you try to pull it apart and like it was like oh. just like just disgusting texture i didn't eat it and then i was looking to the guy beside me and he's like you know he's like i used to work in a like a butcher shop or something like that and he's like i think that's definitely horse and that they're after trying to pass off as chicken what? and i was like nice i was like you know judging by where we're at right now i wouldn't put it by like you know what mm-hmm. i mean because we didn't go to a, a very nice resort and we were in cuba which is like notorious for kind of shit food yeah but but this guy that works at a butcher shop just knows what horse meat looks like i guess he like yeah. he just well, butchers yeah, horses fair. well horse, i would they, horse they butcher they butcher everything yeah they like they kill meat. like they find a cat one, on the side of the road one of the services the i didn't know that they did was like i thought a butcher shop was like they had all their own meat they like if you bring like a fucking dead cow to a butcher shop they'll chop it up for you and freeze it and shit yeah yeah I didn't like. I I thought it was only like you can only buy stuff from there. Yeah. They offer it as a service. They'll butcher anything you bring them. So they've probably it's butchered like a lot their of job horses. Is cutting up carcasses. Yeah, but I thought they meant like they had their own product. It's like no. it's like going to. I don't know. Do you Lowe's. think? Do you think at, like in the back of Zares we just had <laughs> Wait, no, fucking wanna, cows wanna, back there? I want to hear this. Hold on. Like, because he. Rob well, thinks he walks, he opens the back door of Lowe's or Home Heart or Home Depot, <laughs> and it's just like a fucking rainforest. And they have their own trees. Well, I was like, like Lowe's, I, I didn't realize at first you, you can bring your own like shit there for them to cut it up. And you know what I mean? I thought like there, if you brought your own like, I don't know, fucking wood planks, they'd be like, no, we only have our own wood planks. No, they'll fucking Her cut Lowe's planks. Yeah. But I guess that stays true for butcher shops too, man. That's basically any shop that does like a service with the product they sell they'll also do it for you but they'll just charge you and whereas also, when you buy the product from them they'll do it for free we're speaking in like very general terms not mm-hmm. all butchers you would have to probably like really go find one probably have to travel yeah, so if, if i walked a, if i walked on the zares with a fucking like dead cow <laughs> head on my and then like a giant hook then they'd be like yeah we'll cut that up for you no yeah, problem no you have to probably know someone for them to do it yeah. or just yeah, like yeah. i feel like any like standalone butcher shop like an independent Maybe. place would probably do it because it's just business I, yeah, I don't that. think you could just like drag a deer into an M&M and yeah. have them help you out. Basically, I like really the chains. M&M a, a butcher, butcher shop. shop. It's a meat shop. <laughs> but it's all frozen it's like packaged. All frozen like, yeah, packaged. Yeah, it's like packaged like cow shit. shit too. Yeah, fuck, fuck M&M's, bro. I've like honestly yeah. never I'm had it. They're also not stuff. raw. It's like all like... It's pre-cooked. It's just pre-cooked meals. It. just frozen. Yeah. But it's must have started out not as that. It started off as a meat shop, yeah. But like... But I'm gonna go on the record right now. But then too say, many people brought in cows, and they're like, <laughs> "M&M, Shut this down. lower your goddamn prices, or you're gonna go out of business." I'm telling you, let right them now. do it. Yeah, they are very expensive. It's like, dude, I went in there because I wanted chicken nuggets. Like when I was in school, we had a, a coupon for M&Ms, and I was like, "Oh, I'll go try some like high class chicken nuggets. No more of this PC Jane's bullshit, right? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Go in there. Yo, Jane's is low key. Jane's good, is good, though. but like, still, I wanted, I wanted the upper echelon. Guess how much a, a box of chicken nuggets costed? Like the same size. Like as 20 like Jane's. bucks. 30 bucks. 27.99. Yeah, it's nuts. You get more. But how many chicken nuggets? It's about the same size as like a 5 pound box. As like I remember cuz I was doing like price shopping, right? <laughs> but it's probably like actual things. Meat. Yeah. So it's like well, cuz like, like the PC one is probably shit. has like a lot of filler. Filler and like just sawdust. gross like the breading on PC stuff is a little lackluster if we're being honest here. I know we all worked there at one point, but fuck, your products suck ass. I'm just saying it. Pre- President's Choice is probably one of the worst product lines ever. Whoa. Shane's boss comes in. <laughs> yeah, just like, I just get fired. Yeah. Like, yeah, like some good stuff, like the white mac and cheese is good from PC. The white, oh. The ch- white cheddar. The cr- like, yeah, Dude, oh. uh, White cheddar craft dinner is the only craft dinner I've ever had in my entire life. And it was probably the worst thing I've no. ever had. I actually, what? I wanted to puke. Like it's it felt like I was eating vomit. No. Was it was it Kraft Dinner TM or was it like, like Kraft Dinner macro- TM? Okay, the PC Shit. stuff's better. It was garbage. The, the PC stuff's actually good. And then Annie was eating it by the spoonful. She's like, "This is the best thing ever," and I wanted to puke. I didn't nice. eat it. I had to order my own dinner. I want to eat so it so bad. Now I'm, now I'm craving it. <laughs> What's one food you guys could just fucking put back like an endless amount of and don't say pizza? That's that's yeah, cheating. It's easy, pasta. Pasta, yeah. What kind of uh, pasta are we talking anything. about? Anything. I don't care. Even until like, like, literally until like, what was that? Three, four months ago? This is all this kid eats. I was going to say, <laughs> I, until three, four months ago. In the last four months, I've had it twice. But before that, I ate it six nights a week. 
and like I love it. with nothing else. Tortellini ever? Like just whatever. I just go buy like every kind of package of pasta, and then every night just cook up a new bag. Did you have last that three big, days? Like, liter of pasta yes. sauce too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Costco marinara. Yeah. yeah, we literally sit down to play games. You'd be like, "Oh, Shane, like have you eaten dinner?" He's like, "Oh, I just put the pasta water on." It. <laughs> literally like every day. But that and uh, that was for like ten years. He gets like a tub of garlic, a tub of sauce, and yeah. he just eats pasta. But again, that was for like 10 years. And then at the beginning of this year, I realized if you recook pasta, not in the microwave, but if you like cook it on the stove on top, the frying pan, yeah. it tastes insanely better. And then like four months ago, I'm like, what am I doing? I need to eat better. So yeah. I actually started eating better and feeling better for some reason. I've been trying reason. to eat better just because my stomach has just felt like I've been like fighting a battle. So with sorry, what did you eat last? Last night I had pizza. But you know, I oh, yeah, intolerant, yeah. so we'll let that. We'll just put it under the rug for now. <laughs> but starting now, you're gonna starting try to now. eat better. Well, earlier this week, bro, I literally had lunch and I had fucking chickpeas and kale, and I was like, "What the fuck am I doing, bro? This is the most disgusting awful. shit." Yeah, it was the grossest See, did lunch you I've put ever salt had. Salt on it or anything? No, I had like uh, that's like kind of like sauce, kind of like Tabasco sauce, but not exactly. See, I'm at a point where like I would like to eat healthy, but I also don't want to get to the point. That you had mentioned before, where you're like, I don't eat food for pleasure. I eat it for fuel. I only, I only, I, I do. I would never want to reach that level. I think I you just, like just reach my level. I think it's fine. Like yeah. I think I eat actually like decently balanced. It's like I'm at, like I eat for f- fuel during the day for sure, but like as soon as like ten o'clock hits, it's fucking right off, mm-hmm. bro. It's like snack time, like chips, fr- fucking Whoa. cereal, beer. You're the not anymore. I've st- I haven't had a drink in almost two weeks. How's now. your How's your desk doing? Looks per- pretty clean, squeaky actually. clean. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Rob, you're the resident like nutrition expert. Is it true that if you eat past like ten o'clock, that your body doesn't digest it properly? Well, it's it, it's based on when you go to bed, not like time of day. So, for example, if I go to bed probably two ish most days, maybe one thirty if I'm lucky. I won't eat past. Let's say I'm aiming to go to bed at two. I won't eat past twelve thirty. Because if you eat too close to when you go to bed, your your body's kind of shifting into sleep mode, so you don't have the same enzymes in you that you usually do. You don't have the same. If kind you were of like, to like rip a workout at like nine, workout yeah. till ten thirty, eat right then, and then go to bed at like two, you would be fine. You'd be golden because when yeah. you well when you work out, you kick up those enzymes. It depends. And shit. If you were to sit and edit for three hours and then sit <laughs> with Annie for an hour or two, but eat then, I, it wouldn't it wouldn't be the same. It's like your body will react. Like your body puts out the chemicals to digest food based on what you're doing, right? So mm-hmm. if you go to the gym, that's why you feel more hungry after because your body's like, I have all these digestive enzymes ready to go. Give me food. Mm-hmm. But if you're just like sitting at home and you eat a meal, you're going to feel way more full because you're just, you're eating with like, you're putting food into something. Like imagine like overfilling a car. That's fully, that's just a shitty analogy. Fuck. <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> so like, it's just spill yeah. on the ground. <laughs> well, it's like, I, I eat it. <laughs> yeah. It's like. Okay, you know, you know, you know what the point. I I, I'm, 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 I'm trying to. I don't need an I'm analogy. trying to visualize it. I just, I only it. ask because, like, I've always heard that, and then I actually looked it up, and from what I could understand, I didn't like look too much into it, obviously, yeah. but it said that that's bullshit. Well, like, yeah, it doesn't actually like, have any effect on your body. It's the people who are eating like big meals, yeah. and then going to bed an hour or two later. See, if you're I, having like a snack before bed, it doesn't matter. Yeah, like I don't personally don't read into that too much because I know I'm going to work out the next day, anyways. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, not to I just heard that to, basically your body just pauses and it'll digest or no, like, it's like fully I, process everything later. Like I'm pretty like uh, like uptight about what I want to put in my body, and I love going to bed in a full stomach. It just makes I just sleep what, way what better. Did you eat last Why night? do I doubt a that? Pizza. <laughs> and I went to bed feeling great. I was just stuffed to the fucking and then brim. Today. <laughs> and today I'm just different been, story. Oh, just leaking ass juice, bro. Like fair. I, t- I had a I was in bed this morning. I had a fart so bad it made me get out of bed. <laughs> this guy's a leaky. You couldn't trust it. Yes, I was just like, bro. Like as soon as I lift my covers up, it's over. I'm just gonna pollute this room. So I was like, I could try and sleep here and just fight through it, or just fucking lift the covers up. <laughs> Almost threw up. I'm not even kidding, bro. Like I, I'll Beautiful. I'll fart after we're done, and you guys can have a whiff of just no, how bad these are. we're good. It's a dairy like cheese like chickpea fart so it's just i've never heard someone talk so much about (laughs) their fucking farts the detail though it's like those are the type of farts that you walk past and you taste oh dude you get a little taste you're like the chickpeas it sticks to fabric it (laughs) sticks to fabric i farted in my room and i went back up two hours later and i was like oh my gosh bro i can still smell it (laughs) it's comforter needs to be washed literally i literally am washing my sheets right now (laughs) i was going to anyways but they just smelled like farts so i was like 
Uh, the only funny thing about this is it's one of those scenarios where if you just don't say anything, Rob's just going to double down on his fart juice and just like keep talking about it. Dude, people need to know this stuff, yeah, bro. This is, important. <laughs> this is important stuff. Yeah. This is important stuff to know before we take our hiatus again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Someone out there is holding a fart and it's just not let healthy. it go, man. Yeah. Oh, this will be the comment question, <laughs> but also a question for you guys. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <sighs> How long do you think we'll go before we podcast again? We podcast next week. I'd say probably no. take like what two two weeks off, wait and see where cases are it's at. It's guaranteed not for like I think two weeks is the minimum. Well, like who's on. like the determining factor? We're here. just making our own rules at this point. Yeah, yeah. We're like, not following anyone's he, rules. Christian texted me and he was like, "I knew I knew you were going to take that." He was like, "I'm assuming you're not down for the podcast." I was like, "Actually, I am down for the podcast." Yeah. And he's just like, "I wasn't expecting that." I'm, I, I'm I literally, literally yeah. wasn't because I like you were the, like one of the first people to kind of be like, "We should not." see each other i'm literally i'm down until they say hey stop actually leaving your fucking house i'm again. surprised they didn't today there was yeah. a post so on thursday so everyone's yeah. everyone's like you know like oh they can just like listen to public health they don't they, like the we talked about this when was this last week sometime where they're mm. like they're gonna take public health's opinion over the economy well clearly not yeah we've just surpassed our complete total from or tomorrow we'll surpass our total <laughs> from the whole first wave and we're still sitting here. Has we there, didn't change anything. Has there been like a... So I said, that we haven't learned anything. They, but they just, just don't care. It's, it's like, they, I know they don't want to shut businesses down because they're fucked. But like, again, we talked about this. They have to. Hey, our economy's It's fucked. all politics now. They don't want to be the government that shut it down preemptively or whatever. Well, it's like... I don't know if it'd be preemptive anymore. I feel like this is... But, but, but like, that's, I should have said I say we're People officially are in say reactive versus proactive territory. You know what I mean? But like, we always have been. There, the, 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 the annoying yes. thing is after... Or not like after, but like when we're on lockdown, cases are going back down. They're like, oh, what would you do differently? Like, oh, like we should have nipped it in the bud sooner, blah, blah, blah. Lo and behold, we learned fucking nothing. There's just too many idiots, I think. Realistically, by end of the week, if it keeps going like it is, yeah, it will be locked down. They should. It already should have been locked down. They should just not open casinos. I think we'll probably be on... When do they open casinos? I don't know. Uh, Apparently soon. I I know there was like, it might have been this week or something. where. I'm down. Falls Let's you? go. Falls you, baby. It's probably so cheap. Oh, dude. Imagine. Dude. Them. What do you mean? I can <laughs> go there. You get discount gambling. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. The buffet. We'll take ten percent off your bed. But no, no, no. The hotel is probably super cheap. I'll pay like forty bucks for the hotel, and I know, I know the like. Is it the Hilton across from the Falls? We were looking at it because my mom wanted to go. I'm like, mom, that's probably not going to happen for our birthdays. But we'll pay forty bucks. We'll spend what a hundred bucks on Amazon for like a hazmat suit. Yeah. <laughs> And then, and then we'll need we'll like flame, we'll, flame flamethrowers. We, we will fucking own the casino. I we'll remember. be there by ourselves. We won't get sick. It'll be like a scene from yeah. Ocean's Eleven. It's a bunch exactly. of dudes gambling and uh, it's, it's, it's I was still gonna say cheaper. the scene from uh, The Hangover when they need to like get the money and then they walk into the casino like slow mo. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. yeah. Ready. <laughs> Just have another. But that, but it, even with that purchase, it'll still be cheaper than going dude, before. We'll make our money back, dude. Gambling yeah. is guaranteed free money. And always. then it, it, to be fair the last like three times they've gone to the casino i've won 100 bucks i've never do you guys want to hear something crazy does that include the time we went no you didn't win I was like we lost everything no actually he was up and then yeah. we started gamble and then he lost everything no i was up and then you guys were going to get freaking food and i didn't want food so i was like well fuck, fuck i may it. as well just this guy pretty much made 20 bucks and we're like you can pay for the buffet come to the buffet he's like no i don't think so you know uh, <laughs> okay whatever and then we come out and he's like yeah i have nothing now <laughs> an hour later he's just like we need to pull over i'm hungry but he literally made the 20 bucks right there like a second in. dude I, every single time i go to the casino i'll like walk in make a hundred bucks within the first minute and everyone else is like down money so they want to keep playing and i'm just like well, i'm not that. gonna mm-hmm. sit around here for an hour I feel, for me i'll be like i usually have an amount where i'm like i'll spend Let's say if I'm going for the yeah, weekend, like we're in Vegas, bucks. it's like 200 is my limit mm-hmm. of like what I'm bucks, willing yeah. to spend. But like after a night, whatever I earn, I'm like, put that to the side. I still have the original 200. I usually, I I usually walk in that. and pull a David Dobrik, go up to the roulette table, black, drop $20 <laughs> and put it all on red or black. Boom. That's what I did. I just did roulette yeah. and I kept yeah. doing like thirds or columns. Yeah. It's so fun. Yeah. Or just doing, I sit there and do roulette for hours and just do like first third second third and just keep doing that and playing the odds so you slowly creep up and then you lose it all and that's exactly what i did and you're like look i'm gambling <laughs> i would be up like 100 i'd be like okay 25 on like 
the red. one <laughs> third and then just lose 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 my fuck me. yeah it's red for all. stardew orange 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 yeah green, but green. stardew if you look it up stardew's yeah. fucking broken it's like it's like 50 50 the wheel will spin but like actually orange is like 75 percent in the Jeez. game in like the i don't know how they calculate that but regardless so you just keep putting on orange and drew was, was at like zero went and bought more tokens zero mm-hmm. went and bought more tokens and i'm sitting there and he's watching my count goes from like 100 200 400 800 <laughs> he's like what the fuck are you doing the annoying thing is like just put it all in orange i'm like i am <laughs> meanwhile he's got like he kept 40, getting that 20 <laughs> percent uh, did you ever go to a casino and where i went to school I no that one it's ironic I wonder why I keep saying I'm on it today. <laughs> I, I've never gam- gambled in a casino because in first year, my roommates went to the casino like all the time. Mm-hmm. And they would come back just like losing Got so it. much money. And like everyone I knew that went there was the. And then one time we were like waiting there and there was like people getting like kicked out and shit like that. And it was just like a really sketchy scene. So I'm like. Well, yeah, where you went to school was pretty Well, yeah, that sketchy. too. But like just casinos in general, I'm just like, I feel like that's like for me personally, I would be a bad pathway for myself to go down because again you walk in with 20 bucks yeah. well for me it's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a way to rationalize spending more money like that's like why I, you go with us because you will and yeah. if someone says <laughs> if someone says hey you're sitting at my machine you just you just count your losses you get up and you go somewhere else i uh I just always want to get into a fight into a casino because they'd be no. out of some out of an action movie but you'd save a lot of money then you also yeah. you want to go to like the tables that are like you know blackjack or roulette but you want to go to the cheaper versions so I just the go unfortunate to like the computer, part the, like the big there's one that's like just automated yeah, yeah. i love that it's one it's just a no-name I, brand fucking <laughs> slot machine that yeah. has like the no-name logo and shit i went to uh <laughs> when i was in vegas i went to like the cheapest roulette table there and i think it was 15 dollars or 20 dollars per bet mm-hmm. whereas i think in like I guess here would probably be twenty as well, but like twenty American versus twenty Canadian. I'm like, oh, yeah. pennies. no, here, like you again, you go to like that computer one. The cheapest bet is like two dollars, so you can just chill. Yeah, right, yeah, I do that. <laughs> but then you, lo- then you win so little. That's why like, I need yeah, more. That's yeah, that's why you, you got you, you, you go you go two dollars for like ten minutes, and you slowly chip up, and then you're like, do I do I go three? Do I go three? You go three, <laughs> and you slowly chip up. You go four, you lose everything. You start at two again. You have like thresholds. If I make it to, you start with 20. If I make it to like 35, we, we bump it to three. If I make it to 45, we bump to four. And then those are, you just go in with thresholds. Vegas make it is to 55. <laughs> We yeah. leave and I pay rent for Dude, this Dude, Vegas is like another planet though, bro. Oh, 100%. When, when I Compared. went there, like, everyone is just hacking darts and there's gambling literally it's everywhere it's just a dude. community of degenerates yeah literally yeah <laughs> but they look like i've never been literally like yeah, we walked either. like down the <laughs> down the street <laughs> you have to be convinced you went for a second i was like when did you go what the hell? <laughs> you're um, wearing your vegas shirt and everything oh i didn't realize that <laughs> yeah. um but dude, i was walking down and it's just like overweight red-faced bald dudes with like their button down like slightly open wearing, like flip or with the what's, what's it called like skinny tie the bow like the cowboy tie oh, oh yeah just yeah, like one even, thread bro. we're just talking like just good. red face sweaty americans mm-hmm. just be- gambling away and there there's a lot of hookers everywhere yeah they like, yeah. They, like <laughs> rob thought rob thought he was so popular he's no, like dude all the girls want i was with me my here. i was with my boss and they like their tits my, out and they want me i was with my boss and then two other people that we met the thing we were walking <laughs> two other people you met huh yeah, well they were you know business clients will call oh, yeah, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm walking, like we went to the Hard Rock Cafe and I was just standing outside waiting for the, whatever happened to, they were having, like, they were talking business and I was just like, I, I ended up outside somehow. And then this like really sexy lady comes up to me and she's like, you're not from here, are you? Which must have been like her typical like pickup line. And yeah, I was like, cause no one's from there. I was, tr- dude, I wasn't a trance, bro. Let me tell you, like they, they're built different down there, bro. Like, <laughs> Yeah. They're professional. That's, yeah. their, that's their quite career. literally built. I was like, yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm, I'm from Canada, and like oh, she was, oh, I can tell by your accent. And in hindsight, I had said three words, and, and she somehow picked an accent from that. <laughs> but then um, she was like, so like you just get acquainted with the city, honey, blah blah blah. And I'm like, I'm only here for three days. And she's like, oh, well, you got to make the most out of your time here. My boss comes out like almost at the exact same time. And then he's like, Rob, like, what the hell are you doing over there? <laughs> he's, like, he's like, he's like, he's like, come here, we gotta go. He's like, I knew I shouldn't, I knew I shouldn't have left you alone here. <laughs> and then she hands him like a fucking like hockey card of like yeah. her being like, like it's like her name. I forget what her name was. And it's like has it's like her, her, it's her business card. Yeah, it has like her height and like weight and like uh, 
two or three numbers on it you can contact. It's like, if this number doesn't work, call this one and this. I'm like, Jesus. Call toll f- free. Yeah. 1 800. And then, if I've gotten rid of this burner phone, call this one. <laughs> yeah. And then my boss was just like, How does it feel to talk to your first like prostitute? And I was like, I can see why these people fall for them so easy. Let me <laughs> tell you that. But Ross's obviously, I, trip I, ever obviously since. I, yeah. I will say, I actually did not like. I probably saw them, but just didn't really register. I don't think I saw like a single one. I saw so there many. Are people too well, where, 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 where were you? I was in Vegas. Like, like, on the strip? Like um, at night? Oh, I guess we were a bit off. We were at the Rio, which is like not on the strip itself. But we did go down the strip one time. And that's when we had guys like just like handing out cards and you'd look at it. And then Flank, who was with us, was just like grabbing every card he could. <laughs> yeah. He wanted to see if he could collect them all. That's is that why it's called the strip? No. No. Probably. To, to an extent, but I, have There's I told a strip you? in Toronto, isn't there? Did not, I, not anymore. Did I tell you like, okay, where we stayed? I think I might talk about where we stayed in relation to the the current yeah. events happening there, or where the shooting took place. Yeah, I stayed in the same. Have I gone into this in detail? I can't remember. I will. I'll, oh. I'll go high level just in case. Shane's already asleep. Smh. But like, it was like we like. Well, people know where it happened. Yeah, like, but like, it was like on the. It was just trippy because I saw on the news like where it all happened, and I was like, dude, I'm literally staying there, like, in a week from now. And sure enough, we get there in a week. From I'd been staring at this building all week long on the news, mm-hmm. and I'm literally staying like two fucking floors below where this shit happened, bro. It was fucking terrifying. But dude, you would have thought like the president was staying at the same place we were, bro, because there was like SWAT guys looking like they play, like real life siege cosplayers, bro. Like we're talking like <laughs> guys who have like ha- helmets on and shit. Fucking a bunch of tachankas out that way. <laughs> I was about to say, I could imagine Rob going up to him and be like, "Are you cosplaying as Blackbeard?" And the guy would be like, "Get the fuck away from me." Literally, just a bunch of dudes who look like real life rooks, just like and like a line outside of the Jesus. place. And I was like, if I was like a criminal, I wouldn't be coming here, bro. I'd get my fucking shit kicked in in a matter of seconds. So no, they call true. it Sin City for a reason. They're all criminals. I mm-hmm. guess everyone's just crooked to an extent. Everyone, Man. everyone's services can be bought. Speaking of news versus IRL, this is I'm hyping this up way more than it needs to be. I'm excited, bro. I'm like leaving the edge of my seat. I'm leaving my house yesterday, and I hear a plane, and I look up. Which, to be fair, planes are kind of like an uncommon occurrence these days. Wrong. But no. <laughs> when was the last time you saw a plane overhead? I saw one yesterday, to be honest. The, Whenever we'd go to the when pool. I, when am I up looking for fucking planes, Drew? One, you hear them? No, you don't. One left here. a trail Where above you my live, house yesterday. Yes. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> those are chemicals. The government, yes, <laughs> yes, jet trails are. I hear this plane. And I look up, and it's got all these lights flashing, and it was like weird enough that it caught my attention, and I like followed it across the sky for Drew's a bit. Like those natives that they talk about that throw spears, and like, <laughs> big bird, big bird, <laughs> trying to kill it. That's a new constellation. <laughs> so is that the little bit? Continue. And then I get in my car, and I like turn on CBC radio, and it's like. Oh, and by the way, if you're just joining us, there's a cargo plane in distress flying over like Halton region, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's like trying to dump fuel so that I can try and make an emergency landing. And I just like put two and two together. Like that's the plane. And then like as I'm driving, I can see it. Like, <laughs> the plane crashed plane. right next to him. Yeah. Like, oh, and then Drew, Drew, saved everyone on, <laughs> Drew saved everyone on board and gave every single person. And everyone stood mouth. up and I gave, applauded. I gave <laughs> them all. Do you imagine? So it's dumping cargo and that one dude who's just about to light up his cigarette or like smoking, he like. <laughs> dumps the ash. <laughs> He's like, oh fuck! He's like, I literally have superpowers. Right <laughs> the now. guy's like, oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> what would they have to like dump it somewhere specific? Right? Like, well, they I can't think, just I dump think, it on houses. I think they dump it by just flying circles to burn it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. gotcha. Just dumping fuel. Unless, houses unless they're like on fire. I, I, and they I was thinking like fuel it. tanks that they just be like, just roll out. Oh, no, it off it'd be a button. They just they just put it in Lake Ontario. Um, yeah, honestly, it can only make it cleaner. I was gonna yeah. say it actually probably would help. <laughs> it might clean out some of that piss from everyone's cottages and shit. But I, I like how that story was just like, yeah, I saw some flashing lights in the sky and it got my attention. I'm like that, that's the perfect start to a Drew story. It's like I saw something move. No, no, uh, no. I saw something shiny. Uh, I, saw... I think the weirdest part was just it. It like, wasn't an alien. I didn't know about. <laughs> I didn't know about the situation and it was weird. And like, I've seen planes in my life. I've been on planes. It was weird enough to catch my attention though. And I'm just kind of like, huh? And then I got the background, which is like, it's actually, it was an, it was an AC-130 actively fucked. Mm-hmm. Returning yeah. from duty. Yeah, You're exactly. like, Rob must be playing cop. Yeah. <laughs> Rob. Rob's, Rob's on a kill streak. Above. Yeah. <laughs> go buddy, go. No. Well, then I'd just be like shooting down at your neighborhood. You know what I mean? What the what fuck? The no, hell? I mean, like, if I was Whoa. in an ACL. Oh, oh, no. Too Dude. far. I swear, I'm saying I wouldn't be doing that. You just said you, you just would. Said you would. <laughs> well, like, what? what, what <laughs> I'm in an AC 130. You live in the same neighborhood. 
What are we? I'm just gonna fly around ace one thirty and not. This shoot is it? why you. Oh this is why God. you're not good at Among Us because you say one thing, we call you, and you're like, no, no the opposite. The, the reason I'm not good at Among Us is because I don't know like the like we said the technicalities and like. I can't talk about this again. I'm triggered still. So. Yeah, we need to play again, dude. We gotta, we gotta keep this fresh. I like doing the every Friday. That was that's, that's fun. perfect. Fucking, I watched that ninja clip from them playing Among Us. And Dude, I was like, how can you be a YouTuber and willingly want to play Among Us with like ninja or guys like that? Yeah, he's nuts. So I, I've been Cloud. seeing a lot of clips of that, and apparently most of the people who are like getting yelled at or playing with them, like just completely disbanded from that group, and like a lot Probably. of other people are following suit. I don't know why. I've been... How is his wife not left him? <laughs> I don't know. Jeez, Ask the real questions. <laughs> But I, or Drew reminds me of the Reddit comments. Whenever there's any <laughs> clip of Ninja, they're like, "How the fuck is his wife still with him?" He's probably sitting in the like game room screaming like Ree! as he as the yeah. chicken nuggets br- get brought down. They're burnt a little, and he throws <laughs> them at his wife and says, "Do it again." Honestly, I wouldn't Jeez. be surprised, man. Because actually, watched, though, how is she? Not I was watching a bit of a stream. So fucking for no, I don't know why I was watching a stream. That was like two nights ago. I was playing Fortnite with a bunch of random people, and this guy was just or like not random, his friends, I guess. And he was just ripping into them the whole time calling yeah. them dog shit calling them idiots and stuff like that but like well his wife like have you seen all like the the twitter beef she's gone in and yeah. stuff she's just as nuts she's literally yeah. the exact same yeah it's Yo. they're perfect do her do you see the one picture uh tifu post on instagram it was like him without a shirt on the caption was like what's up babe at jessica <laughs> <laughs> oh god it was like, the funniest shit have you guys ever world. actually like scrolled through donald trump's twitter like the no, respo- I, li- I read the responses I did for, for fun. I the first but like, time. It's so fucking funny. Dude, his tweets, like, his. Wait, I want to know before we get into this, why did you point at me and Shane about yelling at. Could you guys do that? <laughs> to I never that yell. extent. On occasion. Not at all. I never yell at you. Ever. <laughs> Shane's so funny one day. He'll be like, Drew, you fucking idiot. You're actually the worst fucking player I've ever played with. I don't give a fuck. I won't play with you ever again. The next day, he's like, Drew. Whatever I say, you're the fucking you're the best. best at this game. <laughs> Don't ever take shit from me, man. <laughs> what was that? Like, what, what was you that? What know... were we playing? It's happened so many times. <laughs> no. I don't know. What was the last time? <laughs> it goes through cycles. But you wow. know that we're not actually serious. We're just like, Drew, you're fucking garbage. But the next one will be like, Drew, you're the best. Good it job. depends who you are. Like, we, for... oh, oh, I think the most recent one was Risk of Rain when we were playing on like all those artifacts. You guys both died, and I'm just like hopping around mm. everywhere. I wasn't that impressed. I'd say that one meme, it's like a needle going back and forth. On one side, it's like, I'm the worst player alive. On the right side, it's like, I'm godly and stuff like that. That was yeah. like literally Doggo's last Among Us session, or I guess it was one ago where he like, he kills more than the traitors. He fucks up a call, and then he swings all the way back, and he like 1v8s twice. <laughs> And then I, I guess he ends in the middle. I guess you don't swing all the way back, then you don't reset. I haven't but. played uh, Among Us in about two weeks now. I feel like I'm, they're going to make new maps and shit, aren't they? Yeah, they just play with us on two. Friday. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure they said they're not going to make two now and they're going to focus oh, on the they, they dropped two, two maps. maps. I was like, no, whoa. No, they dropped like Among That's Us exactly. too. They, they scraped it. Yeah, and then said, we're just going to focus it. on this and slowly keep building Which it up. Which is awful. They should not have done that. You, you, think know, so? you don't think so? They said that Among Us One, like its code base is fucking atrocious. Like oh. that, to the point where when they tried adding stuff, it broke other stuff that they couldn't fix. So then that's why they started working on Among Us Two, and now they're just like, we're just gonna well, you, try to redo Among Us One completely. You'd think they gotcha. just try to maintain the first one because they already have a player base on it. Versus, but they have to add new stuff, which they can't do because it breaks the old stuff. Because it's what I mean. so I feel old. like you could have just if you could have just whipped out Among Us Two in like a couple months. I know that's not. And that's Rackle, what they said. They said six months would be their time frame to get a beta out. Yeah, I, Which, we would. Everyone would have jumped on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And my Twitter has been overtaken with like graphically just, like drawn Among Us like porn stuff. I don't. I don't want to explain it. That's pretty gross. <laughs> what? <laughs> do you, wait, like, who you, do you wait, follow? Wait, you you follow Peter too? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do actually. I think I, I'm not even kidding. I think he might have liked one. No, no, no he doesn't. No, I no, follow him, and he is. But people yeah, like, no, like, like I don't follow this. I don't. I don't even know where it comes from. But there's just like graphically drawn, like Among Us, like like porn. <laughs> That's all. That's what it is. I'm looking nice. at Rob's likes. No, I don't. I haven't liked it because I don't want that shit popping up like from me. <laughs> The thing is, is he he always pauses on it long enough that the Twitter's like, oh, he must oh, like he this must content. Like it. <laughs> just give us more yeah. or give me more, but yikes it's just something that doesn't need to exist in my opinion same with fall guys porn that reminds you you see the fall guys like <laughs> the like what that what's inside a fall guy that they tweeted the other day no that's creepy as hell man 
Oh yeah, I saw that. It's like a skeleton no, with like okay. elongated Peter, eyes and shit. Peter definitely did not post. No, that. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he, uh, he was like, "Yeah, maybe." Dude, Peter literally draws and posted himself, bro. <laughs> well, I, I was messaging Peter earlier because uh, he was asking me about like the house because I'd never actually shown him the house. Mm-hmm. I guess I had never sent it to him. And then he talked Poor about guy. how like after he watched, it, he was asking me like a bunch of questions about mortgages and stuff. And then um, how old's Peter? A year younger than so probably your age. And he's asking about mortgages. Well, he was just asking like me curious. about like oh, okay. my like house and stuff, and just making sure everything. How's it? Damn, I'm a little little, little high. Everything was again. I've said this before. He, it's so nice having Peter back. That's what we were saying. But then he uh, where did he go? He had a girlfriend. Yeah. Oh. But so he was talking. Still, they still do. No. Oh. He was talking to me. It's all good, Peter. We love about you. that, and then I was just like. Well, he was asking me if this is going to be our forever home. And I was like, yeah, like, I kind of want to get, like, a cottage slash summer home. I was like, and you can stay there. And he's like, nice, repping the VG merch and the VG house and all this stuff. And then... <laughs> Just paint his um, car. <laughs> paint his car. But yeah, the there's, VG like, a, there's like then, a small list of people, like, I would actually care to meet. And yeah. He's definitely on that list. Oh, you met him. Didn't no. you? No. Imagine. We, we were supposed to meet up at, like, one event. <laughs> Awkward. And then you remember they bailed on the dinner. Because he, he had a girlfriend. Oh right, no, I, I just met him at the first TwitchCon. Yeah, I didn't meet him. Meanwhile, Peter's lock screen is Shane and him like throwing each <laughs> other. Yeah, but he was at that second one, but he he bailed on it. Yeah, that's the, the Fall Guys anatomy. anatomy. What the fuck? Why oh. is it skull so? What the? Yeah, it's and from the official Twitter. It's very uncomfortable, isn't it? <laughs> They're fat, dude. But the thing is, I think no, Fall Guys is like I kind of into it, but no, like, there'd fuck. be skin and stuff. You're just seeing the bones. Right I there. think they missed their window, bro. I think Fall Guys is like I'm. It's huge. I, it did exactly what it needed to do. Like they made their money. Like I probably won't play it again unless someone like asked me to. I'm gonna play for you, you season think, two. Do you think the game's dead? Like I'm. It's just my opinion based on on you. M- yeah, but I think it's it's, def- it's just it's, it's dying. Confirmed, not dead. Not dead but like, all right, do you, well, many... do, you, do you guys actively play Fall Guys? Like no, I'm waiting. For, I'll, I'll play a bit when season two comes, and then okay, I'll show would again. you pay for season two? No, what well, I'm. If it's like a DLC, definitely not. No. Okay. So then, like, okay, take a would guess. Would you consider it then? Like, I can. I, if you're not actively playing it, you wouldn't spend money on it. Take a guess at how many players it has been averaging. Let's say we're off. talking Twitch or player base. Player base. Hundred thousand. Yeah, I'd say hundred and twenty-four thousand. Don't I'd say sorry. In sorry, the last like sorry. day, you're guessing this much. Hundred thousand mm-hmm. and one. Actually, I'm gonna say one one fifty. Bitch. 27,000. Oh, I was what? close. I got the closest. Let's its all time peak was only 172. Nah, fuck. Which Fall is, Guys? No, yeah. there's no shot. Back when Tim was playing and shit and streaming it. No, Dude, there was like 500,000 people watching about once, and it, all of them were trying Steam. to stream. Yeah. What? PlayStation Man. 4 is the biggest community. Oh, oh. I didn't know that. But do you it was free on PS oh, Plus. You, you, you see how that. much Among, has right now, Among Us has right now, though? I did not. I, it, actually, it, let's take a guess. It has. Well, I know. I saw it. Okay, don't guess. Don't, don't where, guess. Are you, where are you getting these fucking 101, stats from? Steam charts. It takes it right from Steam. Yeah, yeah, All right. Yeah. Continue. <laughs> Carry on. Jesus. Like among us, a fuck ton of people playing. Okay. Dude. How much? Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand and one. Uh, what I the, what I saw was three hundred k. Right now it's two hundred forty three thousand. Fuck. Okay. But the the tweet I okay. Sorry, I I need to ask you guys this. Shut the fuck up. Miss Trunchbull over here, eh? <laughs> If you had to guess a year ago, September mm-hmm. 2019, how many people were playing Among Us? You can't even see it. That's, 500. Yeah, I'd say like low thousands. Less than AOE 3. Yes, but <laughs> 166. Now, Ooh. if you had to guess a year before that. 25. It's been out for this long? It's been out since 2018. <laughs> how many people are on the dev team? <laughs> <laughs> guess. And then it times that by two from when they made 12. play it. 27. Yeah, like not even 100 probably. Two. <laughs> <laughs> the dev team. Look at look at how it ramps up. It's just a fucking It's like 2 2 it's 2 like, like <laughs> slowly going great. to the hundreds then, over time boom. and then we call that exponential. Yeah. Insane. That's looking like our covid cases. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the US covid the, cases? Look yeah, like my, look like my bank account. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Maybe not, but hoof. But where did they, so where did the Among Us come from? Can we pinpoint this, this resurgence? Soda Poppin. Was I think it? was first. Yeah. 
Um, so it was pop- one of those two because one of them played it and then the others played it and then boom. I'm fairly certain it was Soda Poppin because he like he does a lot of like random games to so just find on Steam and play them. Mm-hmm. And then I think XQC found it from him, made like a group of friends to play. Just fucking Scott Rocket. Did he include Soda Poppin in that? Or did he just know. like, thanks for the idea, Soda Poppin? I don't think Soda Poppin. I, I was watching some funny clips from him and it's just like, it's 10 big Twitch streamers all in a lobby together. And it's like train Rex runs the show whenever he's yeah. in there. And he's just like, like X, where were you? Y, where were you? Z, what, where were you? Soda pop. And where were you? He's like, I don't fucking remember. And he's like, <laughs> he just moves on. He just doesn't care. <laughs> Cause like soda pop and like drunk, just not caring yeah. about the game, just trolling. And Mean, there's meanwhile, when I say, I don't fucking remember back. It's like, it was Drew. It was yeah, Drew. I yeah. know it. I know it was Drew and for then a we fact. We all jump on it just to piss Drew off. Well, yeah, as soon as, soon as, as someone, ends up being doggo oh, shocker. As, as, someone, yeah. as soon as I hear one accusation get tossed, I just snowball it. I'm like, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. It has to be. And there's no shot. Every single time Rob makes it way more suspicious suspicious on him because like i'll be like okay so and before i can say anything <laughs> i just want to throw this out there i am <laughs> not guilty i was here I'm like okay well Rob. sometimes i have to man it feels like i'm low i'm low hanging fruit for these lobbies where everyone's like has analyzed every square centimeter of the map it's like oh i mean you took too long we, we talked about you two took too long going from point a to point b what exactly did you do between point? How, ma- how, ma- how many breaths did you take? How many steps did you fucking have? Fucking are you singing that song? <laughs> yeah, I'll be watching you. <laughs> um, right now that's Every Annie because she's like definitely take. like the newest out of all of us. Mm-hmm. And there was one instance where everyone's like, "It's Annie, it's Annie, it's Annie," but we didn't have enough proof. It was just a mm-hmm. lot of suspicions. And then um, I followed her, but like from a distance where I knew she couldn't kill me. And then like Shane came by when she was planning on killing me, so she stopped. And then, like, she did one task, walked over, and it's, like, a two-part task. You do the maze, and then you have to go flick a switch. And she did the first part, walked past, like, where the second part is, and just didn't do it. And then we call a meeting, because someone finds a body, and they're, like, and I ask Annie, I'm, like, why didn't you do this part? She's, like, oh, I did it before that. I'm, like, you can't. Uh, you have to do it after gotta, that. You gotta be careful. And then it just, like, is silent for me. She's, like, I didn't know that. <laughs> I saw okay. the funniest meme ever. It was, like, the file upload one, and it was, like going to 99 percent, and then someone calls a meeting right nine percent just flip, flips a tyler one going like ah <laughs> it out. it's true that one and like the so all the vile one you can come back yeah but and that one and they, the simon what, says no the one where you're shooting rocks in the one spaceship that one yeah. i oh, swear weapons? always you're always like 18, always always called i don't mind that one it's the simon says because it's always so far away and you have to go back and you're like what's the right. simon says one what's that where it's like the, the, it's in the, fucking space there's like a three by three grid it's just like oh, oh middle. I, haven't, I haven't done that one middle what, left what maps though you're lucky. Yourself lucky it's on both maps oh wait there's two maps right now or there's three but we reactor. don't play the second one oh is it too small or something I like it's, the spaceship one it's the tough most. yeah it's, it's basically um there's like one it's like a, kind of long it's central like a, hallway it's like a boner shape and then there's four sections but they oh, all i know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. oh okay yeah no <laughs> but actually <laughs> there, there's four sections but they all only have one hallway going in yeah and if you leave like you have to leave through that hallway. And then there's there's this monitor that can tell who walked past each like north section. What is it? Each section. So if you're really just sitting on that monitor, you can kind of figure out. Is that what they mean by I was on cams? Mm, that's that. a different one. There's different. So but every this one's like has, even worse, where you actually only have one way in, one way out, and they can yeah. track that. The um, maps we play have like security cameras. Although that the one we've been playing as of late, the polis? cameras just suck. They're just mm-hmm. pointing at nothing, and then. Um, the admin table where you can just see who's there's just bodies in rooms okay yeah the, i've been to the admin table i think i think someone killed me in that room i'm kidding but Probably. i love that table yeah. it's my home kind of a tangent but on the topic of gaming i'm i've been looking a lot into cyberpunk oh my god um and i'm worried like i'm gonna pre-order it yeah oh, no. i'm just worried it might no why i'm just worried it might flop just because it's like but, but, but why would you pre-order it you don't need to well, I just wanted the stuff you get for it. I don't know what I don't know what it is. I just I'm going. I'm, I haven't pre-ordered it yet. I'm going, I'm going to. to pre-order it too, but I'll pre-order it like the day before. Yeah, gonna, like the last day you can. Like in yeah. my opinion, it, like it looks good enough that even if it is a little bit of a flop, it'll still be so, worth it. So here's the thing. So I'm watching like all these videos the other day. Yeah. And then Drew pops into Discord. I'm like, <laughs> Drew, guess what? Like, yo, look into this game, and we're watching like the gang video and all this stuff. Yeah, it looks sick. And then like 40 minutes later, Christian pops in. What are you guys doing? Just watching videos. Well, I, like we sat there for like forty minutes, and I was like trying to run them. I was giving them the sales pitch. Yeah, I'm you didn't even have to give me it. Like Drew was basically giving me the sales pitch. Yeah, I didn't have to because he yeah. just gave it to me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But no, it looks like a pyramid. amazing. I was sold after that first like cinematic cutscene they had when you go to the bathroom. Yeah, and then they you feel that they're gonna. <laughs> Rob's like, I relate to this. But like you're you get in a fight 
and then I, you think, and all of a sudden the guy fucking has like blades come out of his arm and just slices the guy's arms off. I'm like, I need to do that. Yeah. In this game, in we were how, watching the game, real life? the gameplay yes. trailer or the gameplay like the 40 minutes thing, mm-hmm. and like there's a, the thing where they come down, they're like up on like the fourth, like the fifth story of a building, and they come down this elevator, and you're going down, and the first section you just see like open area with a bunch of buildings. Second section is like highway. Third section buildings, and then you land. You, the elevator opens. And it's just a fucking like massive market. And then you go down into like this sketchy alley and some dude like enhances you, like you pay for some enhancements and like, it's the, it just looks so nice. Yeah. Man. I it's like, crazy. I like the, the class system where you can choose to be like sneaky, like yeah. fall to the wall. We did, I didn't even dive into that stuff. It's basically him. just Skyrim yes. in the future. Yeah, what, like that, that would Skyrim. be awesome. Because and the whole, fucking... the whole we were debating like what, what start would you pick? Do you see that stuff? I haven't seen that. No. So you have to pick between like three starting lifestyles. So one is like corporate. You're pretty much like taking, taking money from corporate people to do hits or get people to do things. I'll do that. The second is, of course you would piece you of do shit. do that. <laughs> second is a street, sure does. a street kid. You were like born and raised <laughs> on the street. Um, and you consider all them your family. And then the third one is like the nomad where like you're, you're out in the country with all those people and something happens with your family and you have to go to the big city. I probably choose the second one, the street kid. I don't know. I'm going to pick that or the, the country one. The nomad one. The, yeah. the, other, the first one just seems like a fucking cheap way out of it. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? It's like, fuck that. Exactly. <laughs> it like, comes out in November? It might get yeah. delayed. I, or, it's, already, it's already been delayed once. It's, I, it's been, been delayed, delayed like three years. I think realistically it'll probably get delayed till january see i don't think so like i think like again i wouldn't mind if you look at all the other times it got delayed they didn't like press that button on the marketing they really didn't i know but like it's still like i'd say january is close enough where they could yeah that they can push it back a little bit just to make sure it's perfect their marketing machine like the 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 wheels are spinning Mm -hmm. that's what i mean like they're putting out a new video you don't you you can't really stop that once you start it Mm -hmm. so So that's what i'm saying like i think january is far enough or like close enough where like if they were to push it back to two months it wouldn't really affect it too much they just missed the holiday sales which is a big which is huge that's why i think i think they can make the window i think it's what december 7th or or, sorry november 7th or 16th i I just wonder if they would still put it out in november because there's going to be like a bunch of games are going to be well cod but it's not the player bases won't exactly overlap but mm-hmm. still i'm gonna buy cyberpunk over cod 100 percent. like mostly because i'll just be downloading free war zone anyway well like I'd, not to be like that guy but i'll just buy both you know what i mean I'd wow, just buy, wow. Must you're, be nice you're that money. guy you're that yeah. guy wow nice. having a job during what building? else are you gonna buy i don't know fucking a new car Maybe I'll buy some Maserati. But buy some better fucking support still for that <laughs> mess hey, of a... In my defense, for the past two weeks, Drew's been like, don't worry, next time I'll bring my drill. The best don't worry, is, next is, time I'll bring my drill. Is you're locking this Unlucky. place up. This could be Fort Knox soon. No yeah. one, That thing's sitting there for like next three months. I actually, I was thinking about it today. And one of these days, I might just take it apart. Like Merry just, like, Christmas. I brought my parts. drill finally. <laughs> Where's the kids but, at? <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to split my time between Cyberpunk and Zelda. Are they remastering Zelda or something? No, it's like the Breath, Breath of the Wild here, sequel I got a, prequel. I, I got a great idea. My time with you can be Cyberpunk, and then your time with Bree can be Zelda. Zelda. Yeah, While she plays Sims. But yes. where's your alone yeah. time in Just there, though, in, man? I don't get it. He doesn't any. need it. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't get any till we're through Cyberpunk. And to toss it in, if you really want this to work, just be like Hey Bree, I just bought you this like just buy one of the random shitty three dollar expansion packs. But, hey, look, I just bought this expansion pack. Why don't you use it, Bree? I got you Sims ferns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> look, I got you a new a new crop top inside. Yeah. yeah. I Ooh, loved uh, gone for a day. <laughs> when Drew was at the cottage for the whole week, it's just like every day Drew is playing this game. Yeah. Bree yeah. is playing Sims. Well, he also <laughs> picked like the shittiest fucking, week, which is I just unlucky. It. Yeah, it's awesome. It was just chill. Yeah. Wait, what happened? That's like my ideal. He basically went to the cottage week. to play video games all week. Well, he went to the cottage and it was like I, I 15 vacation. every day raining. Oh, wait, last week? No, yeah, but like, I don't know. Two weeks. Two weeks I, ago, I was yeah. like, you know, put on like a flannel and a it's raincoat, chill. get a yeah. wood wood fire going. Yeah. Like, this are outside or like in the. No, no, he, did, he, didn't, he didn't leave the. He, <laughs> well, you went the, for walks. Yeah. 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 Whatever. I, like, I got some walks. Clear, we'd like go clear, walk around a lake and. I actually had a nice nature moment on Saturday. Did you mm-hmm. see my my he story was in his backyard? <laughs> no, I went for a Saw bike a around. A bike ride. Well, am I gonna dox myself if I say oh, on which the trail? river? Oh. Yeah, but like I don't say it. I left my <laughs> the Nile there. The Nile. I, that river yeah, is a very river. large yeah, yeah. river. And then I the Nile River. I went like yeah. I left my bike and like trundled through the bush for a bit, you know. <laughs> 
and just kind of sat like in the middle of nature for, and have the, and they meditated for like. Did you see minutes. Rob like parks his bike? He <laughs> kicks out the kickstand, takes his helmet off, puts it on the fucking thing, and then just whips out the machete and just starts slashing through brush. That was essentially what it was. <laughs> Rob like locks his bike up to the freaking shrub. Yeah, exactly. Lo- make sure the helmet's locked in there. <laughs> Put like the like squiggly bike lock thing through yeah. it and click it. And then just pulls out like the machete on his back. Just starts hacking away at the, at the shrubbery. You, you come or a family comes by and they're just like, oh, like don't stray too far, like too close to the river. And then they just see Rob like ripped <laughs> pants and ripped shirt, like feral on the side, in burrs. literally but eating a fish raw, empty beer can. It was nice him. until I had like a fucking brutal allergy attack, and I was like, I get the fuck out of here because I was sitting like, in the middle of Nature. like trees and shit. It was so bad that my eyes were like red and like watery and i got home my parents said where the fuck were you just now and i was yeah. like oh was it for a bike i was ride? one with nature <laughs> yeah. but it was nice you know kind of left my electronics behind for even if it was just for two hours you know but you posted it was two hours yeah you posted on well i took a picture well, here, and then just the put it in my back he needed to he needed to take the he needed to take the picture it didn't happen yeah it's true i forgot a, that if a my bad tree falls in the woods did a bear shit? Continue? Yeah, exactly. Did, yeah. A, <laughs> did a tree shit? Did a tree shit? Yeah. <laughs> dude, dude, that's a tree shit in the woods. Oh, like. fuck. No one will ever know. Me and Drew yeah. both golfed this weekend. It's yeah, true. I saw that. I literally, I went golfing and Shane's Shane's a kid, how, she No, that was my yeah, sister. I'm, I'm <laughs> fucking around. She said, go how golfing. I'm like, good, man. We got to go sometime. Like, I, I really want to go with you. Doesn't respond to my text. Next day, Snapchat's a golf bag, like, hitting the range. I'm like, <laughs> how did he, to be fair, he, he messaged in the group chat that he was going golfing. Yeah, but late. Read, like we had, or maybe I it talked was to him way before. Last week. Yeah, no, no, no. It was the group chat. Uh, that yeah. Hooters golf bag, though. Dude, that thing is like a nineteen like seventies. Who he just found that's it sick. at like somebody's like garage sale. And he's like, this is the best bag ever. I'm like, that's oh, amazing. It's, yeah. You're right. <laughs> it's so nice. Orange, white. It's like the A and W cup, and then just the Hooters <laughs> logos everywhere. That's it's so sick. sick. But then I after I was like Shane, how'd golfing go? He's like Drew. I'll summarize it in five words. My golf clubs are in my car. <laughs> or like my in my trunk. Are in my, no, it, it like clubs seven. are in the trunk. Oh, yeah, okay. that's okay. what he said. Bitch ass. I was trying to, well, it just had to be from phonetically correct. Yeah. And yeah. same, man. I got mine in my trunk, ready to go golfing whenever the I've never. Fits. I've only been to a driving range. I've never to like an actual golf we should course. should just go for fun. Yeah. I think I'd be absolutely There's a couple dark trees shit, that are pretty fun. Well, here's the thing. Like, what, what did you, on your, like on the average hole, how much did you shoot over? Uh, a, Like, I probably <laughs> averaged a double boat. My putting was Wait, awful. a double bogey like plus four? No. The plus double two. bogey is plus two. What's one over then? I bogey. went to like an actual course. Same. And I was shooting like eights and tens. Oh. This guy's this actually guy, good. This guy's like from Tiger Woods. I did Wait, golf here. lessons. This guy's actually good. Oh, I, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> golf lessons. Yeah. No, I can't. I, I can't. Par- I parred one hole and I was like, oh, this fucking go. I parred a par three. Or I parred the only two par threes on the course. I parred them both. One of my drives was the longest drive I've ever had. It was like a, it was two fifty, yeah, straight down the center. I'm like, I've never hit the ball over like a hundred. How do like you know how far it is? So, so the markers. from from where we we go to the pin, it was oh. like two forty, and I was on the edge of the green. Gotcha. So yeah, two fifty. I two put that, and then the other one, the greens were so soft. I hit it like two hundred, and it landed right on the green. I'm like, dude, I. I overhit that. That should be gone. Yeah. And I get there, and my my golf ball's like this far into the fucking green. I'm like, that's a win, boys. <laughs> um, they usually have like at the start of the hole, it'll be like this hole par four, four hundred yards, and then there'll be like a marker at like a hundred yards to the hole, and so on. So you mm-hmm. kind of like. I also just realized if I'm shooting eights and nines, I think I shot between eight and ten on the other like other holes I did. If it's a par four or five, that's pretty much what you were shooting. It's like a double bogey every hole. Maybe yeah, averaging it's a par like seven. four, and I'm shooting eight. You'd be it's doing a, seven or eight. Quad bogey. Ah, oh, yeah, the math is hard. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> is that what you call it? A quad bogey? It's no, it's a just, no, after you, that you, you kinda, just plus you, four. You stop. You stop after triple bogey. Yeah. yeah. What's a mulligan? A mulligan. You just when retake you just, a shot. Yeah. It's not like uh, an actual thing. It's like a. I saw someone. On, I forget who it was on Twitter. They, they were like. They were doing a competition against someone, but they were like, one person gets unlimited mulligans. So and they I was can like, retake the shot as much as they so want. So I thought, I thought it was like a drink or something like no, that. No, it's like if you're on the T block and you top a shot well, and it's just awful. Well, you're like, oh, some, mulligan, I'm shooting again. If someone says, here's, I have a mulligan, I'm thinking like it's some sort of it's mixed a, drink. It's, it's a like duel. Beer, yeah, yeah. Like rum in it or something. How many balls did you lose? Uh, I think I only lost three last time. I only lost one. And it was like, I hit it and I was like, I didn't even, I looked up, balls? saw where that ball was going. I'm like, just dropped another. Dude, so I had these like <laughs> matte neon green balls, which yeah. sounds weird because it's no, a matte, second, but, you can see them. My set, the second hole 
line drive with my driver. I'd been practicing at the range. I'm like, holy fuck. Like, that was one of the nicest shots of my life. You're goaded, yeah. Couldn't find it anywhere. Yeah. It literally, I saw it land in the middle of the fairway and I couldn't find it anywhere. I was so angry. Wait, if it was neon green, wouldn't it be really easy to blend in? No, uh, it's different. It's yeah. hard to explain. Yes I, and no. The issue right now is... Uh, what well, clearly, it blended in pretty well. No. The issue is, right now is we're golfing. There's like, obviously, the grass isn't level but the we have leaves on the course there's leaves yeah. so the leaves you're like your eyes are just seeing all kinds of colors it's hard to track the ball i guess and the the way the fairway works is it was like right where it landed it kind of like dipped down and to the um to the left and then like again to the right so i my guess is it hit there and like rolled down and mm. i just couldn't find it in maybe the yeah, like a, an eagle came and swooped down and took it maybe that too that too yeah the large bird oh that's prey. how you get an eagle and yeah, it's yeah. If a, an eagle comes and takes it and puts it into the hole for you it's an eagle mm -hmm. it's extremely you get an albatross rare. too the next question was birdie how, eagle albatross how is your back it's actually pretty okay i thought you were gonna come back like mangled i'm not gonna no, lie no no i like i'd been going to the driving range so what i was about, getting like you use blisters or wear gloves for that well my oh, hands I are tough at the driving range did last Blech. week but yeah it's fine Shane, you gotta remember that uh drew being how short he is like his spine yeah fine yeah. you can bend it anyway also i'm really under leverage i was doing because I, I i was like looking up i was curious just what like memberships in town are it's not crazy it's like between one grand and two grand <laughs> yeah just curious but uh i looked up there's an 18 hole professional disc golf course 30 Whoa. minutes away isn't it that where it worked no there's one there there's too. There's one there, but yeah. it's not not the same. Like this thing's like like legit professional. Yeah, people fuck really? hard with this with this goal. Yeah, we thing. should we That's should cool. try to reach. Wait, for yeah. two thousand for a membership. Yep. Is that you can go unlimited times yep. throughout a season? Mm -hmm. Don't they usually That's like? Good, don't you usually it's like have 100 to? No, per golfing, visit, isn't it? No, it's like no. fifty bucks around here. Oh, okay. fifty bucks. Fifty bucks if you want a cart. Yeah. Yeah, fifty bucks with the cart, and which that's you usually holes. do. Well, the one like right, the one like right, right there is like yeah. notorious for just being cheap as hell. That's yeah, what my buddy's telling me. But that's again, actually like, a good course too. Yeah. Like they've had LPGA tours there. Almost yeah. all of them. There's a couple like I the, worked at that. The actually. private ones that are more expensive, but cool. like fifty bucks will get you in. And usually, if you want a cart, you might pay fifty, sixty. Yeah, and then you so get the skirt around. I'm mm -hmm. assuming the benefit of the membership is probably something other than golf, so like a clubhouse. And yeah, stuff. So it's a strip club. There's <laughs> but there's like, the perks, like there's like a locker room there but the, for the most part it's like i think it's more like food you can shit, usually right? book before the public can so uh, you yeah, might like, be able to book 10 days ahead whereas the public can book five um you also get priority so in the summer when things start packing up you get priority and then um again it's just i think the priority is the big one yeah because as the course fills i guess if you want to go like people. every day you just fucking book every single day and you always yeah. have your slot you and like if you think about it and discounts the thing is if you're paying two grand do the quick math for me because i'm too stupid how many times if you're paying 50 bucks a time how much do you have to go 40 like you have to right. pretty much golf yeah add the zeros 50, what yeah. three three times a week four times a week four times a year so like fucking <laughs> you're going to going in the summer rob so 26 no, no. months Rob's like i'm gonna buy 2000 membership and go four times this year <laughs> hey, people play until the first snowfall yes so they uh, won't close I, courses until like as soon as snow hits then they're like ah fuck this so shit. probably like 30 weeks out of the year as long as it's not like sloppy wet and they can cut the grass and maintain it like they keep them open so mm -hmm. 30 ish weeks out of a year yeah so you'd have to go like once every week with like every third week you go twice yeah which is again if you're golfing you could probably hit it three and then there's different packages like the cheaper package the ones i was looking at are like if you golf after two yeah those are the ones like you would have to do that um mm -hmm. there are ones where it's just like only if you golf before this time it's the big ones where it's like golf anytime you pay a shit ton more and then mm -hmm. i didn't realize half the golf courses are linked to each other so like if you get a membership with one you get cheaper rates at the others and it's super fucking weird but pretty cool and pretty posh thing. fell down the rabbit hole Speaking of it's sloppy fun. wet, do you just hear how much it started raining yeah, outside? It is Holy outside. fuck. It's down to 17 degrees. That's better than really? boat time. Man. It was like, it's supposed to be. Like, have you looked at the weather for this week? I haven't actually. Cold, rain, every day. High of like 15, low of like 5. What's for a week honestly, straight. Honestly, it's, it's the perfect be... weather for like the lockdown to start. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, whatever. Just You're not today was supposed to be the last nice day. It was nice in the morning, but it started, it got really sticky and gross, like noon. Yeah, I wouldn't Man, know. Man, real talk though, like it's going to be so depressing. Yeah. In like a month's time when it's cold out, it's like winter and you can't leave your house. Yeah. Because like, even if you do leave your house, what are you going to do? There's nothing. It's going to be fucking depressing, man. <laughs> What's that? It's just my Christian's cable, just like shit. connectors no. fell. 
Yeah, no. I, yeah. I, I'll be happy when it's snow, but like, I won't be able to go for walks. Won't be well, able we're hitting that part ride. of the season where it's like just rainy and cold. Yeah. Like, there's, you can't do anything. It's going to be pretty um, shit. I always liked uh, fall, like when I was in school. Fall to look at sick. Fall when it's just like when it's warm or like not warm, but like sweater weather. Sweater, yeah, yeah, sweater weather. Here's the and thing. Man, I love a sweater sunny. and a jean jacket. It's like. I used to always love uh, like winter. Same thing when I was in school because it's actually a fucking blast. Yeah. And then you become an adult and you're like. Oh, I'm driving winter, this shit. Winter fucking sucks. Yeah. I but, gotta contact I someone it. about my uh, driveway for snow. Yeah, you, you, you need I to get do. on that like now. Though. Yeah, I'm waiting right here, man. Yeah, all that shit's booked. 50 bucks. Oh, up. you weren't here for it. Rob said that he wants to shovel our driveway. Yeah, I was here for oh, it. Oh, you were? Yeah. Uh, for 50 bucks a pop. I just, I've upped my prices. Yeah, he said like 20 and we're all like, you idiot. <laughs> so I'll do 50 per time. I'll take some minor benefits, maybe the, a fr- home cooked d- dinner before or after. Who's cooking you're supposed it? to be? Co- you're supposed to be shoveling at like six a.m. Well, breakfast works just that's as that, well. Yeah, you'll negotiate that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> there's, 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 that, that's why you have an agent and I have an agent to figure mm-hmm. this shit out. I don't want to waste agent? Time. Bling. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how that neg- who, negotiation would go over. Who would you choose to represent? It's because we're choosing His like, <laughs> yeah, my actual agent. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> trial by combat. <laughs> Who'd you? Uh, I have. What, what do you mean? <laughs> do you actually have like a, like a guy? Yeah, but, I have a dedicated agent. Damn. Why are you so? How do you think he gets all this? I thought I thought you had stuff. like one per like functional unit, like a guy for your sponsorships, a guy that does like your. You think this know, guy? Stuff. He doesn't pay us. You think he pays other people? Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting paid by like what the? a thousand bucks a podcast. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That'd One be a, day. Good, a, a yearly contract. It was my idea after all. So it was. Yeah, you wish. It was yeah. my idea. <laughs> Rob, come golfing. Kind of, yeah. Golfing you, you, you were the oh, one no. who initiated the whole process. Yeah. But we definitely talked about podcasts before. We just never were, like, willing to dedicate the Mainly time. because before then... this, we'd spend, like, a night a week just sitting there fucking going through random Twitch channels, yeah. chatting for, like, three hours. So we're like, we might as well do a podcast or something. I feel like we just bit the bullet on the podcast to try and, we. like, stick it <laughs> try and stick it to Rob that we didn't actually think he would Yeah, man, that was so funny. The and whole I, 20 I, podcast I, thing, and he actually made it. We're like, wait it. I was the. I, I, I you made still a, haven't missed one. Have you? Oh no, you missed, no, you missed one. I missed two total. Oh, two because now I had to replace. Yeah, 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 you're right. But still, the I the reason I like well, there was two reasons. One, I just didn't. I just wanted to do it. And two, I was like, I can't be the first one to miss a podcast. Yeah. Or I'm never gonna hear the fucking end of it. Oh, we would have. Who was yeah. it? Was it me who was the first? Because I, I had Japan. Yeah. Well, you yeah. had Japan, and then I had like Dominican, pretty much right after. Yeah. Yeah. And then I had no vacations because I'm a loser. And I was sick in February. <laughs> Yep. You, but you it. probably had COVID. COVID. Yeah, yeah, honestly. I want to do that test. I, I want to see surprised. if I already had COVID. Well, you can, well, you can but do yeah. the, the blood the test. Antibodies yeah. only last so long, too. So, like, we'll see. You could come up negative with for the antibodies and have had it. But aren't isn't the whole point of the antibodies that they stop you from getting it again? No, there's been like hundreds like, of thousands of people in the States who have got it a second time. Well, right? but like, most yes, of the, but they don't know from how what long I've they seen, last. I guess it could depend. Like, 99% of those cases, the people who got it again were people who, like, had it where oh i'm getting better and then got it again yeah but if you fully recover you're not supposed to get it again See, i saw it whereas most people got again were the ones who got like f- absolutely fucked by it came back but their immune system wasn't ready and then yeah. just got destroyed by it again <laughs> you have to um, wait till like you're fully healed were healed yeah. and then that's you should get what it i'm again. looking kind of scared about the fact they get it it's like just, i probably have it for like a fucking once month. you get it i guess like the only thing they like i guess they're making vaccines and stuff but they just said vitamin d just fucking. Yeah, I've, been, I've been taking. Vitamin you hear D that, day. ladies? <laughs> <laughs> I was to say that's Rob's favorite pickup yeah. line. If anyone has any, if you guys are struggling to get your vitamin. If anyone D has any day. vitamin D, <laughs> yeah, that I'm, too. I guess. Classic. Literally been taking vitamin D every day. I, Ooh. I just take C. Who, who's who's lucky man? Bree. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's not going to make you immune, right? No, no, no but no. it helps. Okay. It actually like they like it, they were it, all the studies say it's like significantly better if you take it. Hmm. All the studies say. All the studies say. But they were At comparing. The this is like when my mom people. told me to always drink orange juice when I was sick because it would heal me. Like, or or milk, it, does. milk gives you strong teeth and bones. At well, the no, end that's actually the... true. No, <laughs> like, the but same with the yeah. same with the orange juice. The orange juice is just like literally all you need is that vitamin C. If yeah. I feel even the slightest tickle on, in my throat, vitamin C pill when I wake up, vitamin C pill when I go to bed, and nine times out of ten, the sickness will be gone in like two days. I it's wish. not gonna that's, hurt you. There's no, there's no. That's, as soon that's as I feel that tickle, like, I know yeah. I'm fucked for like at really? least a week. Yo, see, vitamin C. Once I feel that tickle, if I just start 
overdosing on vitamin C, I'm usually fine. That's one. The guy, my old manager <laughs> in the container every day. <laughs> the natural foods dude, the yeah, guy who was, so was so my manager, he was a freak for that kind of shit, bro. He would have like in the back office, he'd have like vitamin D, multivitamin, some random Jesus. fucking like extract of some unknown flower. You know what I mean? He, let's get like four pills. Petunia like, every extract. Hour. Literally. The like etchin sia or something like that. And I was just like, bro, like you're going to fucking start growing leaves out of your ass if you don't fucking stop taking some of this shit. Guys, so it's the guy who ate kale and like spinach yeah, last I'm not taking night. Fucking, spinach is great. Yeah, spinach yeah. and kale are healthy, bro. Spinach is fucking disgusting. It's spinach healthy. has no taste. It's so like... I guess that's my issue with it is it has no taste and yeah. it's just like you just put wet a, leaves in your mouth green. like I don't want to eat that. It tastes healthy, bro. It's literally like at least with like cook, at least with lettuce and stuff. It's like you get the crunch, so yeah. there's something there. So, but with, le- yeah, but or with romaine, spinach, lettuce, lettuce is like, just water. It's yes. literally not. The I know, but I want the crunch. I don't want yeah. just fucking floppy you, leaves in my see, mouth. See, that's when just, you got it. You got to stack four or five leaves. Yeah, and just crunch and into it. Crunch. It's like a carrot. Just and honestly, ranch just makes any vegetable so much easier to eat. But it also just defeats the purpose of having the vegetable. Well, you're still getting the nutrients. You're just getting the ranch on top of it. Kind of yeah. cancels it out. <laughs> no, you're right. It doesn't cancel yeah. it out, but still. <laughs> I remember in, in school, dude, I had broccoli and baba ganoush every single day for about two years. And then I realized baba ganoush has dairy in it. And I was like, oh, shit. I probably shouldn't eat a whole pizza and baba ganoush every day. Remember that the every... first time you had baba ganoush was at our apartment. Yeah. Right? And then I, that was like four or three years ago. Yeah. I had it every day ever since we then. We redosed them. I moved. Just, I had our apartment. No, we moved into a, like a year and a no, half ago. The first time no. we had it again was when we were doing Game of Thrones. Yeah, because we were at re- Niles. You weren't there. That's the first time I had it. it was at Niles. Place. Yeah, and his yeah. mom was like, "Idiot!" His mom was like, "Here, take this." And everyone's just sitting there, and she's like, "Rob, you should have some." And Rob's like, "Fuck, fuck it, that's so good." <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, this tastes so good." And this guy first, goes ham. On the- I was like, "I was like, oh, like what is it?" And Niles' mom's like, "It's Baba Ganoush," and I'm like. What the fuck? Is that? <laughs> I swear, when you came over, it was like the one time we had the game no, night and I had Baba Ganoush. Was, I remember it was that I had it Niles first, and Niles brought it to your place. No, I, I bought it. For and the then Niles, Niles, Niles like, and Brittany were like, "Oh, Rob's gonna eat all your Baba Ganoush, bro. You might as well hide that shit." Pr- uh, that's probably what it was. Yeah. So like, I, I miss those, those nights. Yeah, Bobbers. The Game of Thrones nights. I miss, dude. I miss like the feeling of waiting for a new Game of Thrones episode. Yeah. I, I hate that. I always want to just watch it all in one yeah. go. Well, like knowing, like knowing you're about to watch, like no, it's like a Sunday afternoon. You know, Game of Thrones is on that night. You're just mm-hmm. like, fuck yeah, it's exciting. It's the only thing that could pry this guy away from Sunday night football. Yeah. Well, thank fuck it never overlapped. Yeah. That one, I think one year it did. That was well, like only a couple it. episodes. Yeah. And this is like a fucking beater of a game, like it was on Thursday. Mm-hmm. That was garbage. Jackson or Sunday, Illinois. right? What Sunday? Vikings. Well, if it's a, what their I'm, I'm third not, I might loss. not watch next week's Vikings game. I'm not even kidding. Bad Actually, there. okay. So, out of curiosity, how does the no. <laughs> how is the Super Bowl going to work this year? Like, is it the top fifty uh, percent of the teams? Oh, it's the same as normal. It's the same as always. Yeah. What do you mean? Well, I don't know what that is. Okay, oh. so season starts through They're two teams. In the, 30, in the yeah. sands. Eight, six, 16 teams in each conference. <laughs> they you play the schedules randomized throughout the year. Teams play each other, so it is top fifty percent of each. Essentially, the playoffs have now been opened up to have two more teams. Mm-hmm. So that means it's the playoffs will eventually be the best teams from each half of the league play each other. So the top fifty yeah. percent. Well, yes. who, who says top fifty percent? Are you Neil deGrasse Tyson? We're That's what I football, said. You were like, bro. no, 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 no. It's how it's, it's always worked. The, That's the top fifty percent. It's the best <laughs> top five hundred, whatever. Oh shit. <laughs> It's the top teams. They play each other. The top half. Yeah, it goes fifty percent. The top fifty percent. Fucking, fucking Bill Nye's <laughs> yeah, stats goes, out here. It goes fifty percent. The twenty-seven point five. And then you have to carry the derivative of the centrifugal force of fucking. You should say my butt. There's two of them, and you didn't say either of them, right? <laughs> Whatever. Then it, yeah. So top fifty percent. Yeah, the top fifty okay. percent. So but it, otherwise, it's actually the mid fifty percent. Yeah. Basically, if the Vikings can get like what is it above like a forty percent win rate, then they're, they'll. Their no. current playoff. Their current Super Bowl percentage is one point three six. I was gonna say so. So teams that go zero and two to win or get in the playoffs, to get in the just to get just to get get to the Super Bowl, it's one point three six. But to, but to get to the playoffs, teams that go zero and two usually have like a seven to eight percent chance of making it. 0-3. Teams that go zero and three that drops to like a two percent chance of making it. So the Vikings and the thing is the thing that kills the Vikings is like it's not like they yeah. have very easy games. But if you look at their next games, like 
Who's their, who do they play this week? Texans next week. So Texans are also 0-3, but, but they played better. the three best teams in the league. Yeah. And then they have to face, I think they have to face Seattle. They play Seattle. Like they go to Seattle after they play Who's an insane Houston. team. Seattle's probably the second best, third best team in the so league. They it's, could, a, it's a wash. So they the could arguably 0-5. But next year. But and next they, year, we're tanking for Trevor Lawrence. And then six is um Atlanta. Well, that should be a win, but knowing the Vikings are going to fuck it. Exactly. They could arguably be like 0-5 going into a... Like, the Vikings might go like 4-12. How many games are there? Or they could be there? the Steelers of last 16. year. Went 0-4 and, and then finished 8-8 eight and eight and didn't make the playoffs. Fuck. Uh, okay. Uh, you would make it this so, year, though. 8-8. Eight and eight. I'm and curious. Well, the, the Packers are going to be at least 10-6. and six. And the Bears will probably Green be at about 500. I know. Because mm-hmm. Bears are starting Nick Foles now. Big <laughs> Dick Nick. Bird. Big Dick Chicago. Nick. I, okay, so I'm curious. <laughs> I know you guys have argued against me for this a bunch, okay. but mm-hmm. at what point would you ever swap what team you cheer for? I just I would never switch never. teams. You wouldn't can't because my one friend did. Well, that's, he's a coward. He swapped off. Who was he cheering little, for? Yeah, literally, <laughs> he swapped to the Bills for football. I don't know what team it's he was like cheering for. A before. lot of people. So I don't. Cons- they could be for spins. I don't consider the people who just cheer for proximity, like. We cheer for the Leafs. I, I, it's bad because we cheer for the Leafs. But like, I swear, it's been passed down through generations. Yeah, mm-hmm. like literally <laughs> okay. every like male. They're like here you go, Canadian son. You cheer yeah. for them now. But for the people who just switch teams for convenience, like you're gonna see more Bills games here just because they're the Bills. But yeah. then again, I I also just don't. The care. way I see right. it is like it just reminds me of religion. Of just, yeah, it like, is. If your it, parents it are religious, yeah. you, you well, get, like, like become there's religious. There's no one I know that's a Vikings fan except for like a couple of random people. Yeah. I even know where it really came from to be honest. Like, you, you told me. Well, like from a kid, but but still like. Yeah. You said that your dad he, he came brought home me back with, like, a, a purple mini helmet. And, and you're like, like purple on helmets. gold. Oh my purple, God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mine was same. Like I watching as a kid, the first series I watched was like the Steelers beating the shit out of teams and then their Super Bowl run. The Steel Curtain back in the day. Yeah. So it was pretty easy to cheer for him. But, Jump the bandwagon. But yeah, like, Christian's argument is like, like, how do you stay so attached to a team? So the thing is, is if just, the Vikings say go 0-5... Like Rob's attachment for this season, it just won't be there. Like I'll probably I'll yeah. won't watch You'll many games. In. I'll yeah. watch. I'll probably choose a few game teams He'll that I want to game. win. Like I, I, I always want. I always root for Dallas because I like. I really like Dallas's players. Mm-hmm. I always want to see the Chiefs do well because my home yeah, is really like, cool. You like the Dallas players. So then uh-huh. I guess. Uh huh. <laughs> we're yeah. just talking about yeah the cheerleaders Jerry Jones. Oh the cheerleaders. Well, I mean to follow sure. them on Instagram. You know. So I don't know. Anyways, so I guess my question is really. If the whole point it's, of watching the sport is like you want to see the team win, yeah, and like I'm not trying to roast you, but realistically, if in your entire lifetime they haven't won the Vi- or the Super Bowl, we'll get them next and time. And realistically, anytime soon, like next they, they ten could, years, they could realistically next any season. That's the thing. They, yeah. They're built you, to you win. Say so that that's every thing. single think of it, time. Yeah. Think of it as like, imagine they imagine it's I switch like, teams and then they like win the Super Bowl. Two, yeah. you know it's just I mean? like these two with the Leafs, where they're like on paper, like this year guaranteed win, see, and then I they fucking a, shit the I bed. I think I'm a pretty realistic fan because I say that every single time. You're like on paper, they're they should be like a top three team. But then I follow that up with a disclaimer, being like they are the Leafs, so realistically, it's not gonna happen. They're going to fucking but suck the and we're going to be heartbroken. So, but like, if, if the whole point of watching and cheering for a team is wanting them to win, you want the and drama. just year after year after year, they just disappoint you. Like, I, some, I, I don't understand the attachment. There's something in there, It's though. like an addiction. Yeah. There's, like that, there's that high of like the wins, and there's the, high, there's the low of the lows. And it's like, oh, so it's like, okay. So Rob basically, gambles on his couch every Sunday night. No, uh, Shane actually gave me the perfect analogy. It's basically like for you guys with the Leafs, yeah. it's like you're addicted to cocaine. Yes. It's pretty yeah, like he common. A, he you can get it if you need I it. You get a good high. <laughs> the low sucks, but you get through it. God, there's not much. Rob, lo- Rob is <laughs> addicted to the black tar heroin, yeah. where the highs are super high, yeah. but the lows are the Do fucking lowest. Do you want to why I'm a Viking, still a Vikings fan? That Minneapolis miracle. Exactly. Three years. I live where they, where they the won the Super Bowl. For shit like yeah. that, when like. So the black tar heroin. Yeah. Well, it's like they that that fucking so game lost. gave me so much like just positive energy yeah. for like a month. Three, we, I remember they basically being in had a play and then they lost the Super the, Bowl. They anyways. lost the game after. But, but, we, but still, we, I remember us being in a Discord, being like, "Rob, was you're like, what, what's going on?" And I explained it. And you're like, "Cool." Like, <laughs> like, you, like you just don't, like you just don't you you lack that emotional investment. I do. This guy, yeah. I, I this guy watched that. a fucking grand slam live and he's like why are we cheering and i was up doing the fucking jig i don't Do, get the big the, deal i did that in hit, fucking hit super the mario baseball all the time <laughs> yeah no it was sick super mario he was also baseball. like 
fucking teeth Freezing. chattering. Yeah, yeah. And me and Drew were fine. <laughs> I just like <laughs> the thing is, if like they were to win the Super Bowl, <laughs> imagine the Vikings in the Super Bowl in like five years from now. I'm gonna like all of this will be validated then because I would be yes. a fan. Here's, here's the thing, Christian. What is if we yeah. if we go through validated. all this pain now when the Leafs finally win a cup? When my Another grand, cup. when my, my my great grandson is alive, for the least to finally win a cup, <laughs> his great grandson's not say, gonna like the least. My, he can say my <laughs> great grandpa Crosby. wasn't a bandwagoner. So you know what I'm so excited for? No. Do you guys remember um, the World Cup that you took excited? place in Brazil? <laughs> yeah, like, one baby. Yes. So <laughs> the Brazil fans were going nuts because of because of how the I World remember. Cup was in their country. Well, they got mocked by Germany, right? Yeah, so, yeah. And then do you remember that photo of that old like ninety five year old man holding on to like a replica World Cup trophy yeah. as they got destroyed seven to one? Yeah, That's like, gonna be Rob when the Vikings finally make it to the Super Bowl in the year twenty eighty yeah. and they get fucking destroyed eighty five <laughs> to zero. And, They'll be and, in the Super Bowl. Me and Niall were playing we were playing Rocket League. I just got back into it. I'm playing Rocket League and we're beating a team. He scores the seventh goal. And then just Niall is like the Brazil. And then it's like go, 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 go. And then <laughs> then we just have to defend. Like we can't score on them. We can't let them score. We just both sat in net and waited. Like once you hit seven one in a game, you gotta sit there. You have to moralize them. Yeah, they, they know. They probably won't even try and score. They know. Anymore. And then when the game ends, you just put Brazil in chat and you leave. You're done. You don't even say anything. <laughs> done. Brazil. <laughs> But I don't know. Think we were we were chatting about this. Like we've chatted about this all the time. Think if not when the Leafs ever win. Like what the f- tr- like you saw with the Raptors, the Leafs. I they have to have significantly more fans. Yeah. Well, the Raptors had a lot People of bandwagon be fans too. Coming in from North Bay to, yeah. to celebrate. They're gonna get on their. They're gonna get in their. They're gonna get in their fucking. It. They're gonna get on their canoes and Cow take it? off. <laughs> From a yellow knife and shit. Yeah, man. They'll be coming down the ground. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's be like going through all the lakes, just portaging, just land yeah. of the silver. It would be so funny. They're like, it's like the quarterfinals and the Leafs are killing it. They're like, fuck, we got to get going if we want to make it to Toronto. <laughs> they get to Toronto just as the Leafs lose game seven. <laughs> they get there, they get the Jurassic Park. They just see the last like, Boston scores in OT. It's yeah. like, fuck. fuck. <laughs> but fuck Boston sports. Yeah, it's also so Boston. basically I just lack any type of emotion to yeah into I'm sports. Just, yeah. I'm just trying to think of like. See, and, but the thing is, I don't have a good answer for you. I don't know why mm-hmm. I love like because there's, there's so no much. comparison that you I can think make. The drama is your best answer. So I like yeah, like, I thought I've, that was I've good. tried to stop cheering for them. I just it's just not in my DNA. I yeah. can't put myself away. The yeah. only comparison I could think of while you're doing your whole football spiel. <laughs> Is how you were like, if they were to win next year, that everything you did would be validated. Yes. yes. In my mind, it wouldn't. In my mind, because it would it'd be, be like, let's well, say, you are wrong. The sir. best example <laughs> I can come up with is streaming. Let's say if you had quit your job tomorrow mm-hmm. and you just fucking dedicated yourself to streaming, and the next ten years you were grinding. Ten years from now, like you were still averaging fifty viewers or whatever the entire time, barely making ends meet. But then, like, you're eleven. You start to get popular, and you can finally make it a full time job. Yeah, I wouldn't be like, oh, those ten years like validated it. I'd be well, like, what's different that's though? Still... Like, I'm not. So I'm not watching football. That's, like, make... that's the best this comparison would... I can come up with for sports. The difference would be like the not... Leafs. The Leafs have been so bad for so long that like it would be Rob going from 50, 50, 50, 50 to averaging like ten k. Like, cause that's the high you're getting off of this. You're just not, like, you're not, would, you're not pinning that high It would high, be me being enough. like having 500,000. I'm playing with Drake playing Fortnite. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the okay, high well, isn't too much. <laughs> no, but like, I don't know though, but that's like the, I would that, say the that's, 10K that's comparison Vikings, is better. That's Leafs. <laughs> <laughs> like I, 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 I say it's validated cause I'm not watching football to make money. Like with that comparison. I know, but like I'm trying to, like the emotional, the, the emotional I investment, I atta- investment attachment I have, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. Put it this way: If you you were there when the Leafs were in the playoffs this year, I turned it off because they were losing three nothing. Okay. And five minutes later, I was glued to the TV. If yeah, you don't, yeah. if you can't p- figure it out from that scenario, in my mind, that's you. just stupid. Yeah. Yeah, it's because you just lack exactly. the emotional investment. But I'm saying that's yeah. like the perfect example. I don't know why we're like, invested. We just start. The, I, I get the it. amount of times my dad will be watching the Leafs together, they get score on. Fuck this. Turns it off. Five minutes he later, he comes back in, turns it back on. Fuck this. Turns my dad, <laughs> my dad always turns it off. He's like, they're losing because I'm watching. <laughs> there used to be nothing better than like sitting gaming with Drew. And we were both just watching like on the second monitor. And in the background, you just hear, fuck. And it's Drew's dad in the living room. And we're delayed. And we're like, 
No. no. <laughs> <laughs> we get scored on. This is like through like my door and like everything. Yeah, it's like a floral way through his fucking house. I just hear Shane like, oh no. I'm like, what? He's like, did you not hear dad? I'm like, no. <laughs> That's See, fucked. But yeah. yeah, I don't know. I think it's just like, it's like a, a gambling addiction. Yeah. You're, you, the, you just love the keep, pain, bro. You keep getting whacked by those lows, but you come back every single day being like, one day I'm going to hit the jackpot. You're going to hit the jackpot. Yeah. That's the best way to play. So it's it's, it's not gambling worth with it. your emotions, essentially. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like your team is your slot machine. Yeah, like, there it is. Emo can emo fuck emotionally gambling. We see emotional gambling. Me and Drew do it with sports. Rob does it in many aspects of his life. <laughs> girls. Yeah. <laughs> e girls. girls. <laughs> Vikings. Vikings. The, like, right, right now, like the gym. The power rank of, of emotional investment right now is like one. <laughs> one is like Vikings. Two is like family. Three is trying to work out. And then somewhere way at the bottom is work. And somewhere even below that is trying it's to us. find a girlfriend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just excited. Wait, what? I'm you gonna said work is how far down your emotional? Pretty far. I'd say it's pretty high up. Well, like, I'm not, like, invested in the sense that it, make, like, it makes me want to cry and shit. I just want to quit. I, <laughs> I, think, I think with how much, like, you, like vent about your job and how much you I'm say just saying you like how much i'm like... actively like i'm choosing to invest my emotion in oh, I, okay. I have to care about gotcha. work because i have a job but that reminded well, me of to. the one comment this week that we didn't read but it was hilarious oh was it the quits job one yeah yeah <laughs> rob i wouldn't just quit like that everyone what about that one job rob that's different what about that car job that's different <laughs> it is different no it's not it's that was a great i'm not segment. busting my ass at some shitty oily gross smelly <laughs> garage amongst, what do you have against amongst, blue collar workers Rob? amongst these dead Rob this just you were literally before this podcast saying how you were going to quit your job like ha cut your salary in half work more delivering <laughs> mail and you were going to be happy I wish we had the pod that, that was know. a great hot take to start I guess I do you want to recap it for no, that, that, that's all there is to this it this guy's like I'm going to go work for Canada Post quit my job I, I think driving around in the truck would be awesome he's like and they make $33,000 a year which, by the way, is literally minimum wage, which is, is it fine. Actually? Which is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Minimum wage equates to 33K a year. If you're working full time hours. And, and they're working things. more than full time hours. That yeah. changes my perspective a little bit. I didn't raise the minimum wage. I could fucking go back to that shitty garage and make more money there, probably. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. I'm really <laughs> happy. Okay, okay, so, I'm so, really so happy so you told us this before because I could easily have seen you message us tomorrow and be like, guys, I'm trying it. Canada Post. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I was three three kids. That sounds a lot for minimum wage. Well, like technically it'd be thirty, but oh, but again, yeah. full forty $15 hours a week. an hour. Well, it's fourteen fifty, isn't it? Yeah, they never got it. To Dude, 15. back when we were fucking like eight dollars at first, weren't we? At no, 11. maybe all the, maybe me. All the old ladies hated me because I came in like making okay, the first so night. About that. Yeah, and they're like, I've been working here for sixty two years. And you and immediately you're come in and you're making the same as them. Yeah. It's like, sorry, yeah. sorry, you, I hated that sorry you old hag. The way they did it was based on time there. And for those first like five or six minimum wage increases, they're just like, here's your, your, your raise for time here and minimum wage goes up. Here's yeah. your raise and mm. minimum wage goes up. They didn't stack. You literally got like an extra cent. They kind of scummed it. Five cents for 500 Well, hours. it was yeah. worse for students. If you got hired under... Yeah, you got fucked. 18, it was... <laughs> So you had nine sixty as opposed to ten twenty five, yeah, yeah. and it was two thousand five hundred hours for a five cent raise. Yeah, two thousand five hundred more hours for another five cent but raise. The best thing ever. Again, I finally reached twenty five hundred, and I turned eighteen. Yeah, so negated. I lost my raise, and then yeah. just got fucking bumped up. So now that those all want to work real hard. But the best thing ever is like again, I got hired like seven eight months before he did, and I got hired. They put me in as a part time worker. I'm making minimum wage. Mm -hmm. and then he comes in they change the law like three months after i get hired so that there's a that there's a student minimum wage <laughs> this guy gets hired at student minimum wage and for the first three four years you're making two dollars less to do the same job and you Rip. and me and you well i didn't yeah, give a fuck man i was happy to have a job and just yeah not give a just fuck just funny man wait what was that I just was happy to have a job at the time. Okay. <laughs> you fuckers. We got it. Puts in, <laughs> puts in his two weeks. Clip it. Yeah. Clip it. Clip it. We got him. We got him, boys. Does anyone know when we started? Because it's almost 9. 7.30. Okay. Oh, and we started earlier than that. What's, what's the score of the game? Baltimore. Oh, Chuck. Beauty. So, You're checking no, you don't need that. You don't need that. What about the Stanley Cup <laughs> final game? We don't give a shit. Give a Tampa's going to It's Dallas win. and Tampa, bro. Is it Chiefs versus yeah. Ravens? Yeah. 13-3 for the Chiefs. That's, that's 
Exactly. As expected, to be honest. Yeah. Kind of. Suck a fucking dick. No, we don't care. You We're can finishing check the podcast in five minutes. You can yeah. check. Oh, but that, that couldn't wait. That's though. more important. No, yeah. it's, it's Lamar Jackson versus... Dude, it's, it's a battle of the MVPs. Mm-hmm. I feel like Ash... Bro. Like Wait, did we ever answer the question of how long we think we're going to be on break for before we yeah i said a week one year we should we should make that the question what's the estimate i don't know i don't understand that, that what, is our, question. What, what is our gauge like if we're just pulling That's the plug next week we don't have a, a comeback date like if originally we we're just kind of following like what the, the government same. had said but now we're just kind of pulling rules out of our ass like well, my, my mom, right now it's because technically we had a lockdown with less cases than there are now yeah. and cases are climbing much faster than they were yeah. before but so so but so again, like logically we should be following the procedures that they had before i know legally we don't have to yes. but like for our own safety it would make a lot more sense to follow the previous guidelines at this current state my i, I just more feel like it's the right thing to do yeah my, well my mom has voiced my mom who who you're old and you have to listen to your mom yes i do you fucking losers always make fun of me for that i don't think anyone literally has said only that only bling and he's 13 no other i'm people. pretty sure it's just your alter ego that says that like <laughs> Rob, do you need meds, buddy? No one out. I don't think I've ever seen that in any of the comments. I, I, people say it. Oh, well, they say it. They say it in chat sometimes. They DM him on Twitter. Uh. And your chat, they'll say it. I remember one time I was like, and there's, is your mom gonna let you do that, man? And I was like, oh, yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> but she was like, she has voice that like, yeah, this one's fine. But like, she kind of wants me to chill at home for a little while. I'm not going to the gym probably for so, a little. So does it mean like house hunts over? Yeah, for the sense. Well, again, I have to decide either look for a house. Or, or I found a house during lockdown. Well, yeah, it's yeah, it's good on it's you, man. Still do- budget, no, I'm budget, saying like, budgets are a little different. No, I'm yeah. saying like it's still doable. Like you <laughs> yeah, can. Yeah, I know I easily yeah, could. Yeah, it's still doable. Like, it's just a know. matter of like, do when I want to wait till the new year or do I want to do it now? Yeah, I'd rather just if I can mooch another two months from home, and then why not? Yeah, but, well, I guess, but then yeah, that then two months turns enough. into yeah. three to four. That four months turns into well, next I was year this time. I was theoretically supposed to move out like in March. Literally, yes, but. Um, and then you were supposed to move out two months ago. And then we had a huge fight. Now I was supposed to be moved out by now. Yeah. And then I'm just kind of my parents have gone to the point where they're just like, "Are you even looking for houses anymore?" And I'm just like, clearly not. Uh, like I'm every now and I have the notifications turned on to come into my phone when a new one comes up. But Jeez. I did I did go to see that one house or place. I haven't emailed back the people yet. They keep me. I should probably tell them I'm not interested. Mm-hmm. Is it the fancy apartment place that you're looking no, at? No, no, uh-huh. I haven't even. That place is just kind of ridiculously priced, man. I didn't realize it's just on the street from us. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, right beside the McDoogies. Niall's gonna. I think he says gonna look into it. So if he like actually goes, I might go with him. Niall's mm-hmm. not. He has to get a job. Right. Yeah, Dude hasn't even started. Yeah. Although starting. Brittany did get a job, so maybe that'll kind of. Niles is at home and Brittany's just fucking working like three jobs. Just Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just sitting there playing RuneScape. Yeah. He's, well, just, he's just farming all of I his shit. I can see it. I can yeah. see it. I'm making us money right now. Yeah. <laughs> making um, us gold coins. Uh, what I was going to say is, so like back to the whole thing. If I, w- I think we're going to be probably like locked down for a month. So I'd say he probably has like a month to look for a job. Well, if you think about it, like we're locking. So before we locked down, when it started to get bad, we locked down for what? It was like two and a half months. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we unlocked down but like we're we're starting at such a a worse point realistically if we even just go with the same window we're gone two months so we'll see you i think if they lock down with schools then it'll drop really fast but i don't think they will the schools which by already, the way have you seen schools in the region no, give no. A fuck, bro. there's only like three schools in the region that didn't have a case <laughs> yeah that's fucked my one of my that's favorite so one of my favorite stats that i've seen and so far on, too is yeah. you know how there's two universities in our town one yeah. that is known for like it's academia yeah. and one that's known for, for the idiots like the idiots go there yeah, yeah so which like, one do you think has more cases the academia, academia one yeah. no <laughs> fuck off <laughs> they're studying too close to each other yeah right? they're fucking <laughs> they're nose to nose in the library comparing like algebra it's notes, just so bro. funny because annie's like looking at the cases and she finds like a report and she's like it's those fucking students from that school like they're the ones who like the one house had like three cases another house had like two cases if you it's look just, at it though it's not all that it's mainly just public schools no i know but like for the yeah, university bet- students like you like yeah. You see, maybe one or two for the one school. I don't know. A bunch My opinion is like a, I'll, I don't. I don't necessarily care. I'll respect your guys' decisions. I'll show up when I'm the first day I'm invited back. Drew, <laughs> you don't have a choice. You'll be sharing a golf cart with me soon enough. <laughs> Let's go. So, Yo, did you guys use a golf cart? Yeah, the whole time. They have like the. Did yours have the dividers? No. Oh, our, our the golf cart at the place we went to had Much like plastic dividers in the middle. Drew, if you end up going golfing with Shane, but you don't come to cooking. 
See, buddy. But there's I'm, expo- taking, a, I'm but, taking a pay cut. But no, <laughs> we can but, expose each other. But, I can't expose. But actually, you. legitimately, we can stay distance. Yeah, especially if you you're can walking. stay distance in the kitchen. No, you can't. If you can stay you distance in the kitchen, the I'm coming things, to the fucking so. podcast. I'll do it by myself. It's true. Well, I, well, the thing I saw is like if you, if you go into <laughs> someone's house, you're yeah, it's already yeah, you're, you're, you're done. You're in someone's house. You're gonna yeah. touch stuff. Just your general. I'm gonna jerk off in your washroom. I'm gonna saying is you're coming golfing. No, I'm gonna paint your bath. I'm taking a pay cut for every time you go golfing. Yeah, no, that's the stupidest thing ever. You can again. You can actually distance in golf. Well, well, that's why golf courses are open because they're outside Correct. and shit. Well, they were one now. of the first things to open. Mm-hmm. They were actually still in stage end of stage one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but regardless, yeah, I we know, can I think distance. Still locked down. My mom's like, I'm going golfing. I'm like, what? Yeah, Pardon? mom. Yeah, we went to a golf uh, convention, but socially distanced. Yeah, if Drew can socially distance what? cook in the kitchen, I can socially distance sit on the other side of the counter and watch. <laughs> yeah, you can. But um, this is about just gonna, he's gonna give him a pay cut. He's, man. Get, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just looking for a reason to give the kid a pay cut. <laughs> There's not a chance Andy lets us in. No, for cooking maybe. It, There's no chance. Ma- There's the, no fucking the way maybe, she's letting us in the door. <laughs> the maybe would be dependent on whether you have blurred lines with going to see Bree or not. He's going to see I'm Bree. going to. I no, I, I would much rather go to see Bree than yeah. come here once a week. 100%. I've been yeah. dating her for 4 years. Uh, yeah, he's only I'm been just dating still us for 3. That's a way higher risk. It's not at all. I trip all the time but it isn't. It's the same risk as but us showing it makes, up here. It, it's it's more it's more of a sensible risk to, like she's my girlfriend of 4 years. She hates us. That and, and I hate <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get lost in the weeds if we keep going down this rabbit no, hole no I don't think so I agree with you for once even though you'll, I'll never admit to that off stream um, I still don't but uh I'm just chilling man yeah <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not touching again you're just you, like you're saying if Annie didn't live here you wouldn't see her I mean if no, she was f- at the same risk as like you're full with Bree's family <laughs> you're full of shit you'd go see her <laughs> if, Annie, if Annie lived in the GTA would you go visit no I, I find it very hard to believe. That's all I'm going to say. She went to the GTA for like two weeks. I didn't visit her at all. For two weeks. But yeah, she was talking coming back. Two, and she was months. possibly going to stay for up to two months. And I was like, okay, I'll see you in two months. Yeah, and sure. I did do that. I didn't see Brie for two and a half months when we locked down. <laughs> yeah, you but, cheated towards the end when we all cheated. Cheated? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. You cheated too at the end I'm just, too. I'm just, I'm just fucking around <laughs> saying cheating. Yeah. I don't know. I think, uh, oh, yeah. again, whenever you take the tap, there's no way Annie's letting us in. Um, so we'll be here. I had to wash my hands coming in. Yeah, I shouldn't tell you guys here for some reason. Like Probably because she knew I would actually do it. Probably. Well, I've also been at my house for like a lot. Well, I went to the gym two days ago, but side. If anything, that, Rob's the biggest threat. I've just been playing fucking COD, <laughs> yeah, sitting in my basement. Dude, my hands are. F- I need to start getting back in my skincare routine for my hands because they, with all the hand washing and sanitizer, they just my fucking skin, melt. Especially during Mine the winter. Mine are surprisingly yo. moist with all the sanitizer. Well, my hands are yeah. clammy because of just they're always have yeah. a layer of sweat on it's them. It's not good, boys. It's not good. Before my first job interview, I had to like put a baby baby powder on my hands and go like this to get rid of it. <laughs> it's that or have a gross handshake. Can you see man. him? He's like he's like, hey, nice to meet you, I'm Rob. Dude, and you, you... <laughs> <laughs> it's like LeBron James <laughs> doing this. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyways, what's the question? When, Where do you what, did? what is your guess? When are we coming back? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And are they gonna nerf the origin in season six? No one cares. <laughs> Hopefully not, because I have a sick class for it now. But whatever. Is it actually open? I'll give you my setup after. My man. <laughs> okay. Oh. You know All what right. the origin is? See you in like two months, guys. Yeah, right. go fuck yourself. Bye. See you in, <laughs> in 2023. <laughs>